So, it's gonna be story time. Let's switch to the big view. Let me hard reset. Huh? Huh? Okay, so... I got exposure this game. Uh... Let's try this again. Aeos Con 2 Clan of the Grey Wolf is a strategy simulation game uh, developed by Koei and uh, released for 1,700 different systems. Uh, this is the Super Nintendo Entertainment System version of it. I uh, rented this game on quite a few occasions and um, then just uh, stopped going to like the rental store for a while. I think I was just doing a lot of computer games at the time. I can't quite remember. Uh, when I ended up like going back to Blockbuster, somewhere down the road, they still had Super Nintendo games, but uh, the, they got rid of this one. Uh, otherwise, I probably would have uh, hoodwinked them and said I lost it, much like my brother did with the Sega Genesis version of Shadowrun, uh, and paid a replacement fee so that I could keep the game. Uh, this game, along with uh, Pirate's Gold and Age of Empires, is uh, what sparked my interest in history. You know, this game presents its, you know, GK here as this a glowing and wondrous and powerful and mighty thing, and my society I live in tends to present, you know, conquerors and, you know, leaders as things to romanticize and glorify. Uh, there was a uh, number of books in my elementary school library for, like, historical sorts of things, and there was a really enjoyable book for, uh, Life and Adventures of Genghis Khan and had a bunch of illustrations to help connect with, like, young adult readers. Uh, I was not even a young adult at the time, uh, but I found it pretty good. I have not played this game since I was in high school. I'd, uh, my best guess is probably 2005, but might have even been 2004 the last time I played this. So I'm gonna be rusty on game mechanics, but... I think I'll figure it out. I don't I don't think we're gonna have too much of an issue. If we do though, that'll create some entertainment. I'll go ahead and disclose that uh I am not a master of uh pronouncing Eurasian names. It is not an area of expertise of mine. Uh foreign languages I've studied are Spanish, French, and German which uh, do not help me with the gamut of names you would see in various cultures that may have since fallen and faded into the fabric of history in the late 1100s and early to mid 1200s. It's a limitation of mine. So, uh, prepare for this hatchet job. You got it? Cool. I'm going to provide a tutorial of game mechanics as we go, so that you can get some grasp of what the hell it is we're looking at. We start the game up. We start with three scenarios. There's a fourth special one you could unlock. The first, the Mongol Conquest, takes place on this smaller map. And uh, your time frame goal is to if you want to unlock the fourth scenario, would be to conquer this within like a certain time frame. Uh, after conquering this scenario, you end up transitioning to the broader Eurasian map, uh, where then you can basically ply your craft there on the larger map. We have a few nations that we can start as here on this map. We could play as the Mongols. We have the Jadarans open to us. We have the Kurates, and then we have uh, the Nymans, who are the most powerful of the group here. 
Then we have uh, the GK scenario itself. So it's in 1206. I really like the portion of GK there. We can start up there, number one, in actual Mongolia itself. We're going to start in Japan. We've got India here. We've got the Khor Khorizm Empire. We have... This is the God King himself, Philip II. <laughs> Grand Master of Politics. And we have... John. You know John, right? Uh, brother of the Lionheart. Um, responsible for uh, the monarchy in England losing power. Magna Carta. That John. Robin Hood John. That John. And we have Yuan Dynasty. Which starts with, uh, Mongolia in a real superior position with Kubla, grandson of Genghis, out there in the scene. You can play as the Kamakura Shogunate. Take it easy, Larian. I do intend to keep the thought of this, provided everything sticks together. Yilkan Empire. The Byzantines. Over there in Constantinople. Mamluks. The famed Baibars. I'm not sure how to pronounce that name. And then Charles I of the Sicilian Kingdom. Uh, and the unlockable world qu conquest scenario has folks like a bit earlier, like in time frame, I think. I don't remember what year it takes place. Uh, you can actually end up playing as Richard the Lionheart and Saladin as well. Because uh, that ends up taking place during the Third Crusade. Anyway, I don't feel like doing the Mongol Conquest scenario. I'm not... We're not here for Baby Town. And, uh, I also don't quite feel like playing as Genghis Khan, though he has unique province music. And, I mean, look at that gorgeous man up there. We're not here for that. So if you're familiar with the type of game like Romance of the Three Kingdoms or Nobunaga's Ambition, uh, the turns uh, take place over the course of seasons. Four seasons in a year, yeah. Four turns in a year. Um, the nation order is, like, symboled at random. We've already had someone be erased from the board. Genghis Khan is heading out. The animations for this are a little slow, and I might end up speeding up some stuff using Fast Forward over the course of gameplay. Mongols have already struck out. Kick ass. Okay. Good times. Okay. So. I uh, mentioned something about a tutorial. Let's talk. I'll throw down some things like... I don't want to change that setting. I would like to change message speed to very fast, please. Thanks. We'll save the game again. Delightful. Remembering my controls. So, you can see my mouse pointer. We're in Province 31, England. 
That's John up there. That's who we're playing as. We have 15 body points, which are expended in various ruler actions we'll be taking. That's our current season, year, and that's our merchant rate of buying and selling goods. This is a slot for an advisor. Uh, we do not have one for us, otherwise they'd be named. Uh, we would need to appoint one. This is our gold and our income. We have nine units. We're losing 90 gold per turn to maintain that. Uh, we get paid once every year, depending on the economy of our province. Uh, this is our food and the income of food. We need that to feed our armies. This is a military-focused game, you might imagine. It's the population of our province. Uh, as that grows, uh, we end up getting better economic return. The economy of our province, it's pretty rough. Uh, the food of our province, it's pretty rough. The loyalty of our province, it's pretty rough. It's fucking King John, <laughs> you know? <laughs> and then a beautiful picture of where the fuck we are. Give me a moment, I'm gonna change seat cushions. Is this one of the more difficult starts? Let me put it like this. For as much as I played this game as a kid, uh, and then when I picked the game back up in high school, uh, I only fiddle fuck with this guy's start as a joke. Never actually pursued it through to all the end. It's certainly beatable. Let's uh, have a gander at uh, some things before I go into all the other buttons. Info. Let's view our home base. Obviously, our nation's data there. Let's look at our ruler. So, there's four statistic categories in this game. Politics, war, leadership, and charm. Politics covers uh, how energy efficient you are with taking actions on... No, like, during your turn. It affects the, the body cost you have for doing things. Uh, the worse your politics, with A, if not S being the best, and E being the worst, um, the higher cost you have for actions. Uh, war is the primary attribute for fighting, as you might expect. Uh, you'll want the uh, leaders of your troops to have superlative war scores. Uh, leadership affects how you can direct uh, your various legions around during the actions you take. Uh, on the overarching battlefield. And charm affects your ability to persuade other individuals to make deals. Like you can, um, you can hammer the AI with surrender demands and they can end up caving during battles. Uh, charm also affects a, um, a realm stability where the worse your charm score is, the more apt your, uh, leaders of various provinces are to rebel against you. John is not very charming. <laughs> and so, uh, individuals we place under control of our provinces uh, will be more apt to rebel against him. Now, his body score is great, and he needs it to be, so that he can take actions. Uh, he is 39. He's got a little bit of time, uh, but he will start to deteriorate, his body score will drop, uh, and it's not like he's going to be getting any better. No. Uh, family will remain perfectly loyal to you. So, that's him. We have no advisory. Our current troops, as I noted, we have nine. We have knights. Uh, we have some non-mounted units. We'll talk about troops in a bit. Alliances, we have none. There is only one way in or out of us. We have to go through France. Talk about generals. We've got three dudes. We've got Fitzpeter. He has seven body. So I wouldn't want him to be in control of a province, because he couldn't do much. We have De Rossi here. Uh, he's as charming as John is. And then we have Langton. 
He's our most charming individual. He looks completely untrustworthy. We can't trust that man. Do we have any kids? No, we have no kids. If uh, we die without an heir, that's it. Game's over. And our specialties? Uh, we have some luxury goods. Hooray. Okay. List of territories. We can look at this. It shows our list of territories, the specialty that they produce, uh, the troop count that's in there. These green numbers mean that they're actually... We're gonna be... We're good on golden food, and that's where the ruler is. We start with a wife. This is an overarching list of generals so that you can quickly review their statistics. This is a list of merchants. There's four merchant groups in the game. Uh, they have different prices, individual prices for different goods, which is further modified by the overarching global rate. And let's talk about unit types. So, there's 16 unit types in the game. We have Light Infantry. This is their melee score, uh, how well they do in hand-to-hand. -hand. This is how well they do with charge attacks. This is how well they do with range attacks. Uh, this asterisk star here uh, means they don't have a range adoption. And this is how well they do with defense. Spirit is sort of like a morale, like cohesion thing. I think how likely they are to like break up in confusion. I believe. Uh, and mobility affects how well they can maneuver on the battlefield. So we have light infantry. We have heavy infantry. You can see there, there's uh, not much difference between light and heavy infantry. We have pikemen, who uh, do better with charges. We have artillery. Um, I'd say the worst unit in the game. Uh, either that or catapults. They are just... It's not the sort of thing you'd want to have at all. We have short bows. Long bows. Note that A in ranged. We have crossbows. Also an A in ranged. We have elephants. Uh, they are region-specific units. Uh, can only be recruited in India. Uh, they're really strong in defense. Uh, they do well with melee and charges. They even have ranged options, but they are very immobile. Catapults. Uh, nomads, we're starting to get into the mounted units here. Uh, and they do fairly well. Sees across the board there for our statistics. We've got Lancers who don't have a ranged option, but have Bs in melee and charging. C in defense, A mobility. The Mongol unit themselves, you can recruit in Mongolia. Uh, Bs in melee, Bs in charges, Bs in range, C in defense, uh... Highest Spirit, 11 Mobility. Archers, CCAD. Mamluks, uh, they're strong units as well. They're not as mobile as Mongols, and they don't have a ranged option, but they do, have, they do good with bees. We have Knights. Um, they are pricey. They don't have a ranged option. They're only Cs and melee. Uh, they're not very mobile. Um... And we get to have those. We're in Europe land. Yay. We have samurai. They have A's in uh, melee combat, C's in charging, ranged defense, and they are actually tied in spirit uh, with the Mongols. You can only recruit them in Japan. They do pretty well. A bit slower, but they do pretty well. Those are our 16 unit types. Cool. So, let's flip to this display here. Um, this reflects investment we have in various domestic categories. Uh, agriculture, herding, uh, luxury, like specialties, and we're producing textiles here, and then our economy. This is like a defense score. Uh, this is our total troop count. We can have up to 20 troops in a province. Um... This is our arms count. Uh, the more arms, the more, like, the higher weapon quality we have for our units. As we recruit units, this will go down. And then our training, our professionalism uh, for our troops. As we recruit units, that will go down. We can pick up mercenaries, uh, which are more expensive, but don't impact our people's loyalty. And uh, 
upset these numbers less. Okay. So there's that review. Let's talk about policies. I uh, have fucked with these over the course of my life. I don't expect to be fucking much with these uh, during this stream. Uh, so in the course of your life, as you conquer provinces in this video game, you may wish to tell other people what the fuck to do. So, you tell one of your provinces a state, like, hey, focus on these things, okay? You may then, after you set a, a new policy for them, you may wish to change that policy. Note that all these things cost body. You may, you know, want an advisor before you can even click that button. And then you may wish to delegate your authority. If you have an advisor, by the way, they can also take your turn for you. Domestic. This uh, is a labor adjustment. This gives stuff to the people. This forces the people to give you stuff. We, if we had a vassal state, we could order them to do things like transferring supplies or transferring troops or attacking. Uh, they may listen to us. Diplomacy. Uh, demand someone gives us tribute. Demand someone surrenders to us. Offer an alliance to someone. Persons. Uh, this is to appoint a governor of a vassal state. This is to appoint an advisor. This is to reach into the ether of generals uh, and uh, have the game generate a general for you, or alternatively dismiss a general you have. Uh, the generals it generates for you, usually with this button, suck. Uh, this would allow you, if you had a, a son of appropriate age, 10 or older, to appoint him as a general. This would allow you to marry off a daughter to an officer. Uh, doing so puts that officer, like, within, like, as a relation to you, which means they won't betray you. And this allows you to spend time with your wife. Uh, in spending time with your family uh, escalates your chances of having a kid, and we'll be wanting to do that because we have no children. Okay, market. We have no merchants, can't even look at that. Uh, remember there are four different merchant groups, they have different prices for things. Uh, we could sell and buy things there that cost body, and we can also hire mercenaries there. And finally, our war button. We're going to war for moving troops for ourselves, moving supplies, recruiting, training, and disbanding. And then info we just covered. All right. What a great story time that was, folks. I hope you all enjoyed and learned everything in the galaxy. I have tutorialized you. We're going to start off by adjusting the labor pool. We're not going to worry about hurting. We're not going to worry about specialties. I want to build up this province, and so we're going to go with farming and uh, then infrastructure here. We're going to be here for a bit. The next thing we're going to do is not give stuff to the people. Uh, we'll be doing that next turn, because our loyalty is pretty bad. Um, I am going to train troops. The second one. Mm. Mm. God, that training speed sucks. Fuck you, John. <laughs> John, you are terrible at training troops. Okay, he's gonna take a bet. Good. Good. Uh, trading speed is impacted by, like, the amount of troops you have, and also your quality of leader. Let's uh, use our final point here to have a look at France. France is... You can play here. You can start as Philip II. Philip has an A in politics. His actions cost very little. B in leadership, B in charm, B in war, 12 body, not John's 15. He's only two years older. He's great. Doing pretty good. Like, the people like him so much more. 
France has more people in it than England. Is troop count? I mean, that's pretty respectable. Yeah. So we got our work cut out for us. We're finished. Quick turn. All right. Guri here of the Gore Sultanate. Does that work? You can choose to view all these battles like an AI between AI, but we got shit to do. Like, something I did when, you know, I was a kid, but, you know, we have something to... I gotta play a fucking video game here. Mongolia getting invaded here. GK probably took most of his troops with him. But, uh, the Mongols put the beat down. And, uh, now, sensing weakness. Tibet strikes out Tibet is the most pain in the ass province to attack in this game. We may see that later. Abundant Harvest, you'll have these random events pop up. They could benefit or harm you. All right, the rate has gone up. There are no merchants here, though, so we don't have to worry about that shit. Okay. Let us give stuff to the people. I am going to give the people... I'm going to feed the people. I'm going to give the people 1,500 food. Love me! And they do! Their loyalty has gone up from 38 to 72. This is going to help me bolster this province quicker. Uh, it also uh, is going to stop rebellions from being a thing here, a potential thing. Not that rebellions would genuinely threaten me. But there, pizza for days. 71. Uh, we're going to transition to spending time with the family soon, but uh, I would like to train these troops I got up a bit. We're working on it. All right, cool. This is our life. What's up? So if you surrender, you lose the game. How about no? Yes, we can train twice per turn. Alright. Uh, Tibet struck out and attacked. And has softened itself, potentially. Yeah, I think it was two or three points per turn. So, um... Charm reduces the... The odds. Like, the it influences the numbers of, like, folks rebelling against you. But, uh, loyalty as it exists is... Basically like a toggle, like, uh, folks who were rulers or leaders are more likely to rebel against you, I know that to be true. If folks are related to you, they will never rebel against you. Uh, otherwise, in general, I couldn't tell you what the percentages are, I don't have that data. I don't know whether everyone does. Alright. I want to win the people's loyalty even more here. We have no merchants. So, let's go ahead and give the people some money. We'll give the people 500 gold. We gotta keep enough money to pay for things around here. 89. Good. 74? 77, alright. No, that's not a thing. You can't influence people's loyalty like that. So this is what our early game's gonna be like. We're gonna spend time here in our... ...isolated province. We're gonna laugh as France gets hit by a blizzard. And, uh, we're gonna... As we develop, we're gonna look for an opportunity to strike out. Sevalade. 
taking action. Kiev, Russia, run the won the war. Okay. Look at that. We're making money. Happy days are here for everyone. Alright. Next thing. What sort of, like, specialty good do I have? Right, I have textiles. Here you go, people of England. Have textiles. They're like, eh, you can't really eat this. <laughs> I guess. We shall take this. Alright. Next, next, we're gonna stop, uh, throwing shit at the people. I think 93 is probably good enough. Uh, we're gonna start spending time with the fam. Epidemic? Iberian Peninsula gets hit. Blizzards. Okay. Any merchants? Okay. We have the Chinese here. So I can show off the screen. We can engage in the buying and selling the transaction of goods. As noted, they each have their different, like, personal rates, influenced by the global rating up there. There's only one merchant in town. I'm not going to invest money in doing anything, because I don't know who else might show up. You can also hire mercenaries. Uh, each merchant has access to a different, like, assortment of mercenaries. They are more expensive than just hiring troops locally, but they don't deplete your population, and they don't reduce your people's loyalty. You gotta convince. That's a 15. Okay. I said I was done giving things to the people, but I tell you what. I will give the people... my fur. John does not need fur. The people don't really care. <laughs> I think that went up two points. Alright, let's start spending time with our wife. What's this? Lipstick on your collar? No. No. John would never. Probably never. <laughs> More epidemic. Iberia over there getting fucked. Hmm? The Byzantines the from the Balkans are striking out. The Latin Empire. That's what we call that. The Empire of Latin. Ding, ding. Don't put too much trust in Langton. So, you spend time with family and uh, your wife will sometimes share some intel on officers that uh, will probably try to fuck you. Chinese still in town. Click the wrong button again. Uh, he's the one that has the bee charm. There's Langton there. He would be the person that I would send out to, to rattle my saber at folks. I've missed you so. Well, we have some spare points here. Why don't we, uh, why don't we take a look at things? How you doing over here, Phil? Hoping that Philip uh, makes a move, you know, sometime. How 
we doing over here? Genghis. GK's got six Mongols and a Nomad there. Mm, tell you what, how we doing? Over here. Three Mom Lukes, short bow. All right. Uh, if you have an E in politics, uh, getting the scouting intel actually costs you two body per. Abundant Harvest. Alright, the Roman Empire. The HRE there is hard at work. We shouldn't be call- I shouldn't be calling that the HRE, but I'm calling it the HRE. Fuck it. Hungarians have been erased. Oh shit! Look at this expansion! You might as well fucking call it the Roman Empire. <laughs> they have Rome? They have Constantinople? Shit, I better rebuild Hadrian's Wall. Wait a second, that won't help me at all. I'm hoping that, uh... That branching out there will present weaknesses. It'll have Philip, you know, have a gander. I want Philip to move away from France. I wouldn't attack out immediately, but, you know, I'd like him to consider relocating, you know? Damn it, I keep clicking that incorrectly. Tell you what, let's trick the people again. Uh, hey! Hello, friends! I'll help- you know what? I'll give you 400 food. 99. I'm historically accurate that John- All you ever think about is war. What? No! No, that's not me. Do you see how much stuff I've given away to people? I stopped training the troops. Merchant rate there is pretty high. No merchants here. I didn't check last turn, but I don't think a merchant was there. You can see our, our income now is pretty swell. Our uh, continued investment there in the economy is gonna keep bankrolling us. That'll be useful. Our food's rough. We're gonna stop giving that away. Damn it, I did it again. Don't put too much trust in Langton. You got it. Don't put too much trust in Langton. Listen, lady. I got it. <laughs> Don't put too much trust in Langton. I understand. <laughs> That's some action happening over there in the east. <laughs> My leash, the rocks we planted. They have not yet borne fruit. No merchants here. I've missed you so. Let's go back to training. We got time, folks. There we go. Philip reaches out and strikes Germany. Kicks ass. There goes the Capet dynasty. Lord John the First, congratulations! Isabella gave birth to a baby girl. Now you must give the child a name. All right, we'll call her Alira. There. Not Alirge. <laughs> Not Alirge. Very sensitive. Alira, what a nice name. All right, we gotta get back to work. Stop tracking mud on my clean floor. What? That's it. 
How dare you? <laughs> let's uh, let's get some uh, let's get some news. What's going on over here? Okay. Not completely defenseless. Sometimes the AI leaves things completely defenseless, or with like one unit. It is still garbage. Understandably, taking the serious troops, the knights, uh, I guess you would call them serious, the grand scheme of things, with them. No merchants here, so I don't have to feel bad. Hooray! For the turn. No rush. I know you folks might be interested in actually seeing the war aspect of the game. But, uh, we gotta build up England. Besides, you can trust the chin of John the First up there. Look at that man's chin. He's good. Alright, don't worry about it. We do have 76 arms. I would want to, uh... I would want to get some more money and uh, see about recruiting a uh, different kind of army. Or some extra dudes, at least. All you ever think about is war. Don't talk to me like that. That's it. I'm going to go train the troops. Yeah. That's right, the troops never complain about getting trained. The disrespect. Oh yeah, look at that money. So, uh, just to show off this screen, let's cloak here and see about appointing a general. This is what the game has generated for me. Uh, as I noted, they are usually trash. And, uh, this person has ease in everything. 19, uh, with a body of 11, so, uh, <laughs> your boy Walton here, we ain't promoting him, and that costs 6 body. Not a very effective use of my limited body resource. But it got done. Is Tibet going to retake Tibet? I've gotten my colors over there mixed up. It doesn't matter. History won't remember. India? Striking up north. Alright, yeah, sure. The Sultanate here is coming for Europe. I haven't seen the Mongols do anything else. There's our Venetian. Damn. So, as I've noted in Death Evans, spit, like, details about this, uh, a very valuable mechanic in this game is the concept of buying low and selling high. Uh, Venetians, for example, really enjoyed Chinese silk, uh, there is a deal as well that you can have by, like, grabbing medicine uh, from uh, the Islamic merchant and selling it to Venice as well. Unfortunately, they're not here in my lap at the same time, and while I could have bought silk from the Chinese earlier, uh, there's no guarantee I would have had the Venetians here next time around. I can't really say I have their routes memorized to how they travel through things and the random variants. Some places are guaranteed to have merchants in it. Like, uh, Italy, of course, is always going to have a Venetian merchant. You, I'm pretty sure that chest there means it's a permanent location for them. Hey. Hey, you get back over here. Everyone knows the Chinese merchants have often visited England in 1209 AD. Mm 
Damn it. Don't put too much trust in Langton. Here we go again. Don't worry about it. I think she said something about we could use more territory, dear. I kind of glossed over it. It happens. 92. How are we looking over here in France? We haven't seen enough fighting over here. Got two knights there now. I was hoping the Romans and, uh... The Romans and the Capets would strike out. They don't have an alliance with each other. They're just, uh, standing their ground. I was hoping for some more action. Choking it over there makes a move. Speed this up a little bit. All you ever think about is war. That's probably true. Give me a general. Survey says... Not even close, no. Not even remotely the number one answer. Technically better, cannot dispute. That is actually better. One moment, folks. That's something Papa might have to deal with. Alright, up to 1,200 again come in the winter. Huzzah. The Venetian merchant has gone over to La La Land. Probably give it another year or two. And, uh, if I don't see anything with, like, market, like, economics, I'll probably create an army of some kind. And, uh, provided France, given France's situation, we'll see about, uh, beating it up. Personally, I don't trust Langton. I know, honey. I don't trust him either. Primarily because you keep <laughs> you keep telling me that I shouldn't trust him. <laughs> Subliminal messaging, additional to direct messaging. Oh, I can't disagree. The Shogunate up there makes another move with their samurai. <laughs> okay. All right. <laughs> We're going to call you Marion. good. It's good. Oh. Making a move on Mongolia. This game does not care what you name your children. Um, there are Four unique portraits for kids. Um, they are uh, GK's three other children, because Jyoti starts born, 
And then uh, there is a unique portrait for Kubla. But the game doesn't react differently otherwise. Alright. No merchants, no surprise. Let's keep getting to work here, Isabella. My god, she keeps talking about Langton! Okay. No. I'm not recruiting a War C, dude. I need better. I expect better, damn it. Why are volatile crimes not happening over here? Go out and beat up someone, or get beaten up. One of the two. GK. What's your troop count? Five Mongols. I... I know, that 2.3 raid. No merchants, alas. Listen here, armrest. I didn't mean for you to click over there. Sultanate's, uh, nation gets split in two there. No penalty for that in this game. Roman Empire seeks to conquer some more. There goes Kiev, Russia. Fades into the vagaries of history. What's up? Nah, I don't feel like losing the game. I'm good. I would like to keep playing. The off chance that I accidentally end up, like, pressing my D-pad and catapulting us into game over. Let's go ahead and do that. We could use some more territory, dear. You know, I agree with you. You wait, though. One more year. Music gets set. Venetian merchants back. Rates at a staggering 2.5. All you ever think about is war. It's probably true. Did not mean to press that. Also, do not want to buy items. I was kind of curious what I had left. I obviously am not having this province work on producing any textiles. Spice is worth 7.5. There you go, there's that intel. <laughs> That's my one spice, damn it. No one else is allowed to have it. It's my special spice. Stop dragging mud on my clean floor. I need that food. I gotta feed myself. There goes the Latin Empire. Alright. The rate being super high, though, makes me wary of picking up mercenaries. Alas. She is a woman, she will complain about everything. That is a good contribution. Glad you were here to make it.
can't really buy arms with this raid either. I'll keep passing time. It's not a big deal. Keep getting told about Langton. As noted, not in any rush. See, that initial investment of giving stuff to the people has paid off huge dividends. We've got an extra thousand people in the province. There goes the Phoenician. Off into the cosmos again. I was hoping for more action around here. But Philip ain't going anywhere. And I'm sort of holding back from taking more action until I see something more around there. About the same. When I say about the same, I mean exactly the same. Hi. No. Oh, looks like GK's gotta go off the board. Nah. It hasn't. There goes the Mongol Empire. It's gone. Call you Bree. There you go. That's your name. <laughs> King John continues to stack like gold coins over here. I wanted to get the sun online before I started taking body hits, you know? And it started being even harder for John to take action. Felt like looking at that again to remind myself. How's the kids? Good. All right. Rates down to 1.8. No merchants here. I've missed you so. I'm not even gonna bother looking. Pass the turn. Damn you, Philip. Why won't you do something? <laughs> or damn you, Romans. Why won't you attack France? Make my job easier. That's why I can't have nice things. I'm sure I stack coins better than Phil can. Okay, there are two merchants here. I don't really know the... I don't know what the best deals are here, so uh, we're going to spend some time having a peek. Saving in case I accidentally, like, press something that I shouldn't. Let's see here. How much... I don't want to do that. My bad. I'm thinking medicine as well. That's what I was going to try.
course, I'm like in the buy screen right now instead of like a sell screen. Let's uh, look at the two goods I currently have. Gems are worth 3.5. Jewelry is worth 2.3. So if I wanted to buy those from the Islamic merchant, gems cost 4.6. Jewelry costs 3.6. The 1.7 uh, rate is also, like, throwing me off, too, with, like, mental calculation. So... Gym would cost... I could sell a gym for... 3.9, but I can only buy a gym for 4.2, so that's not a profit at all. Let's have a look at glass. Glass costs 2.0 to buy. I can't check a sell price. Glass costs 1.4 to buy. Let's go with that suggestion. All right. Thank you. I have an understanding of Venetians and, uh, like, Islamic and the Chinese, but... Wasn't sure what to do in that situation. I appreciate it. It was certainly a win. And, uh, we'll go with that. I will, uh, spend the rest of this money. I mean, it's a terrible time for me to hire, an, like, a mercenary army. To spare my population. I was gonna do that, but even, like, light infantry there, just with the rate of 1.7 being what it is, is rough. Yeah, so, as Jeff Evan has mentioned, and as I have mentioned throughout, like, the little tutorialing, and for the little bit of time we broadcasted this, you have two merchants, they each have their own different rates for buying and selling things. So you can, you can basically bankroll something by buying from one merchant and selling to another. In that case there, glass worked out pretty well. I do appreciate the advisement for that. Anyway, I'm just fucking killing time here. The rate's making me skittish about, uh, recruiting mercenaries. It has been 15, 16 years since I've played this game. I remind myself about longbows. Right. I'm here. I'm present. I am an individual who is currently broadcasting at this particular time. It's the most glowing review I could give of my current status.
Two back-to-back -back defenses from the AI. I spent more time in other games of, uh, from Kasori's historical simulation series. Or their business stuff, like Aerobiz. Well, unfortunately, can't really afford to buy arms. But we can train up things a little bit, and, uh, hope that, uh... <laughs> with one tick per train. See whether, uh... Something is actually going to change over here. In my favor, instead of it continuing to build up. Have you actually made any alliances? No. Okay. No rush. We can bide our time. The people, you can see, uh, my population's been severely depleted. But, uh, the loyalty's still pretty strong. Pacific Theater Operations. That's a... I've certainly played that through cartridge. PTO2. That's a, that's a rough one to play without being able to speed it up through emulation. Those turn times. Those are a woof. Uh, Gymfire is... yeah. It's a fantasy, this. Takes place in the UK area. Please stop spamming submit messages at me. Alright, that's it. It's spring 1212. Now that I've lulled everyone into a full sense of security. Let me, uh, check a few things. Yeah, okay. Hey! You should pay me money. Go get him, Langton. Well, I warned you. I don't think I'll need to load that, but who knows, I might fuck up. Yes. Yes. John, you're going to get these units. Enjoy. It's Peter. I think you're my best warrior. Maybe it's Dorosic. It doesn't matter. It's Peter. You get my knights. I don't intend to fight the individual battles. I think the AI is gonna run from me anyway. Obviously, if Legion 1 gets into a fight, I'll be sucked into a fight anyway. Uh, they are slow. I certainly did them a whole bunch as a kid. And, uh... You can abuse the poor AI through them, especially when they're locked in defense. It's, it's, it's sad. You wouldn't want to abuse the AI viewers. I care about them. Alright, let's go. Again, I expect them to run, but they may not. So, give a little basic tutorial of this situation. Yeah, they're fleeing. Right, so. This is our day counter. Uh, this goes up to day 30 and uh, basically counts as a loss for us. We have a number of orders that we can issue, depending on our leadership score. John's is rough. Uh, 
With that, we can issue an order to one of our legions, and the others will go pursue the enemies on their own. We can also, if we have a legion adjacent to another legion, to, like, reform the armies. Uh, we can also have talk commands, uh, if we were adjacent to the enemy, of offering them to come join us or demand their submission, which can work really well if you have a leader who has a strong charm rating. Uh, John has a charm of E, so his ability to persuade folks to lay down their arms and just give up so that you can recruit those units for free, it doesn't... I don't, I don't think it's going to go well. Anyway, I'm just not going to bother issuing orders. Um, they're too far for me to catch. Uh, we win by destroying Legion 1 or by flagging all of the settlements. I can't catch them, though. Uh, they are starting at the edge of the map. They intend to run. I'll never forget this, John! We did capture Legion 3. I can't recruit those units into my army because I'm full up on 20. What's up? You have a war score of B. I could use an extra dude. Yeah! Body of six, we're not gonna appoint him to be like a governor or anything. Speaking of which, uh, we can appoint one of our individuals to be a governor, but I kinda wanna keep all these people for now, so I'm just gonna press B. And uh, the game selects an individual of local talent. A talented man is here. We're gonna let him go. Now that would only be if uh, he personally led, like, troops. Like at an individual combat level. Not worried about it. If he does die, whatever, we'll get more. Alright, we got France. Huzzah. Loyalty here is we're gonna spend some time to patch things up around here. Just a Venetian merchant, no problems. What do I want to spend this time doing? How much do I care about developing this place, and where do I want to go next? I was thinking about. Coming down through this way, given the spread out nature of this nation. And this would also be, like, easier for me to defend. Instead of just coming out here first. So I can sweep down through here, the Middle East, and maybe like 19, and then hit 15 up, go through here, dabble along. That's an ideal situation. I'm obviously going to have rebellions along the way. I'm not finished. So, I do want to reform their uh, the domestic policies here, but I can wait on doing that. Let's give the people some stuff. Let's give them like a thousand food. I'll even give them 1100 food. Bam. Hooray. And I will spend this time training. We also have a peek at this state. How effective are you? Good. Good. You won't accomplish much of anything. I'm perfectly fine with that. You have fun up there, dear. And that'll be the end of the turn. Howdy! No. You want the tribute, you come take it from me. I will stab you to death with my, my infantry. Magnet Caliphate 1. Huzzah. Good for them.
All right, Philip, making a move. The extra troops he got from the retreating forces. He's decided to attack away from me. Good. Glad we understand each other, Phil. Here goes the Kingdom of Poland. I can adjust this the exact same way as I did England up there. Don't know how long I'm going to be stationed here before I move out anymore. Didn't bother to check merchants. I don't have any. We should be fine on gold. What is it that you remember? Tell me more. Yeah, they're fine up there. Yeah. Look at John, though. That's not a man who needs an advisor. Look at that chin. His chin is his advisor. He's good. Don't worry about it. How are you doing over here? Okay. Mardor and Holdor. I'd like it if you reached out and attacked Province 17. Made my life easier. That's fine. That's cool. Blizzard. Alright, uh, that uh, e economy is going to be great in bankrolling me. I may end up asking uh, my other province uh, after the spring for more money, but I don't think he actually has enough body up there to send it to me. What's your body score? Okay, you do. Good. Maybe he'll listen to me. We'll wait here for a little bit. No rush. The Shogunate. Now after Mongolia. The Shogunate's taken Mongolia. They can blend samurai and, and uh, Mongol troops together. Good for them. The AI won't do that effectively, but can end up doing it accidentally. Oh no, England got hit by a blizzard! Hey, uh, order. Send me money. Send me... 1,000 gold pieces. On the nose. You know you want to. You should listen to me. I'm your friend. I would never lead you astray. I will also cur mil murder you if you disagree with me. I'm glad we understand each other. Hugs and kisses. All the best. Toodles. <sighs> you must have wanted to spend it on recruiting troops or something. I had to waste my body for him to tell me no. Listen, you want to give me that money so I keep conquering away from you so that you can rebel against me? How do you not understand the rules and mechanics of this video game? Randomly appointed dude. <laughs> Don't be difficult.
What part of that? How could you not send that money? Like, I couldn't afford to send it. Are you nuts? I'm just gonna chuck these gems in the ether. Just tough. Maybe not. Maybe not. I'll just chuck some food into the ether. There we go. I'll bankroll myself. At least I know that won't be a waste of my time. We'll just hold Pat here for like another year. Once I get through 33, uh, I feel as if I should be able to sweep through here pretty quickly, and I won't spend, like, much time dwelling in a province. I'm just choosing to build up here for now. Biding my time patiently, I guess. Maybe see about this, uh, this sun. That I'm surely going to get. Quit talking to me about length time. Callisto. The first thing that popped in my head, you're Callisto. Enjoy. Congratulations, you're Callisto. Nickname Callie. Have fun. Another blizzard hits England. Glad I got out of there. We could use some more territory, dear. Trust me. I'm, I'm, <laughs> thank you, the power of repetition, once again. How are we looking over here? Okay. Three knights, four pikes, crossbow. How are we looking over here in Italy? Knight, three crossbows, a longbow, two pikes. It's fine. I can keep being patient. I won without much of a struggle. Good, we kept the blizzards out of England. Happy days. Islamic merchant here now, the Venetians packed up. This uh, music beat, which uh, features in Europe, is starting to wear on me a little. Alright. We're gonna try again. Hey. You. Send me a thousand gold. You should do it. It's good for your health. Trust me. <laughs> I will throw you into the ocean!
Philip out there making moves. So, not paying tribute. Choking it might get cut off over there. No. No, they won't. Understood. That rate's still super high. I was look interested in buying arms, but I definitely wouldn't at these prices. Okay, why don't we have a peek over here? You know, I was pretty interested in going through the Middle East, but, uh... I still am. Fight. I'll be thinking about potential routing if I'm going to be avoiding that way now. I'm going to send the house. And if, uh... The Castilians come after me and take France, I'll just send the house back. And then I'll use that as an excuse to come sweeping down through here. No, I'm not finished. It's free real estate, though. All I have to do is just send a dude. You know what? Let's send... A dude. I don't need to command this army, but I will form the legions myself. Artan? Is Artan guy I picked up? No. Who do I find the most disposable? This body 5 age 64 dude who won't be able to do anything in this province? Sure, let's send him. Here you go! No, we're good. That's good. Uh, we'll give him 200 bucks. And 200 food. Have fun! There was no army there, so... You know. Why not? What the hell, go free. I'm a nice guy. Albertus! 15 years old! You are a very grizzled 15 year old. I guess life is hard in 1214. I'm gonna go ahead and set you aside, Albertus. Alright. Now I'm down a unit. Perpen permanently weakened. Go ahead and recruit another unit. We'll have it be a pike. A heavy, not heavy entry, a pike. Yeah. There we go. Perfectly fine. I'm sure everything is good and I'll continue to hold on to Province 29. It's mine. I shot arrows at it. That's how you know it's mine. Alright. My bow! The body I spent on it. 
you jerk. So how much did you send there when you took that place back? Okay. As much as I did want to go west to east. Let's have ourselves a good time, I guess. We'll check the market first. Alright. Diplomacy. Hey, bud. How about four years? Go get him, Langton. Well, now it's a matter of honor. You have insulted John. And there must be consequences for these actions. I don't even know why I'm bothering to continue to make these legions myself. I guess you... Yeah, sure. You can have this. I wanted to give John, like, the weakest units. Or weak units. Because I don't want him being the primary force. That's fine. We're taking everything. We're taking everything. Let's go. I don't have a whole lot of cash. But I'm here to fuck shit up. They won't retreat. They have four legions. I could have looked at how good they were, but... Did not. Alright. So, I'm gonna want to attack... Legion 1 from the southern direction. I expect these two legions to set up ambushes here. I don't know where this legion will move or what it will do. And I don't want to walk into those ambushes. So assuming this legion doesn't come here and set up an ambush, uh, coming from the south is going to be the best angle. To that end. Let's go ahead and start sending dudes... Try to position them the way I want, instead of the how the AI is going to. Note again that due to John's leadership score, I cannot give a lot of orders per turn, uh, per day, basically. Legion 5 is hunting, okay. So they're having some food concerns. Well, no, that's my Legion 5, they only had four legions. and move Legion 1 over here to capture the settlement. Just for fun. We'll move the mouse pointer off the screen. Guys, you're having a very hard time walking over the mountain ridge. They're like, we don't have any horses! <laughs> we can't get through Navara! <laughs> Help us, John! Thank you. Now that you can also bank up orders, which is pretty nice.
Okay. Let's keep uh, scrolling away down here. And our super sneaky approach, that is ultra sneaky. Losing this would certainly be disastrous. Our second legion has vanished because it's gone into ambush mode. Uh, ambushing is what two of their enemy legions have done. Uh, if an ambush is activated, uh, the army that triggers the ambush starts off in a confused status. Uh, and we haven't zoomed into a battle yet. Let's just say that's really bad. I have spent half the turns of this stuff, uh, this fight, like just moving my troops through the mountains. Not great. All right. This whole ambush idea I had, it's a little bit too far. I was hoping one of the legions would move away from Legion 1, but that hasn't transpired. So what I'm going to do is order my Legion of Knights chase out as these knights charge these crossbows and our battle simulation there at work there go the crossbows So as soon as I move a legion adjacent to legion 1 the others are going to pop out of the trees and come after me. So I want to move there to that tile, or attempt to, rather. And see if I can proc an ambush. Okay. Order three ambush there. Order four, move here. Order four, ambush. Order two, move here. Running out of time. There we go. Two ambushes trigger on that legion and just brutalize it. It's gone. My knights are heavily weakened. Damn, I lost one. Oh, I've actually run out of supplies. I don't have the moves to move my legions away, or my knights away, so well. I was hoping I wouldn't lose a knight there, pricey, but oh well. Good! Foolish AI. It set itself in, like, pursue mode after those knights. Alright. Chase Legion 1. Uh, to chase Legion 1. They have knights of their own, and it's going to be a bloodbath. I say bloodbath, I mean I'm going to get my ass handed to me. That's John's leadership at work there. This would have certainly been a better situation had the Castilians been weakened at all. But they were not, and I certainly could do much better if I was choosing to micro these fights. Although, the pikes I'm throwing at these knights don't have any ranged attacks. Mm -hmm. 
There goes Legion 3. Alright, John, you're gonna have to get out there. Not that I gave you any of the knights. I might have to apply myself. Shit. You sure can. <laughs> I will not surrender. It's okay. I have lost almost my entire army by choosing not to fight these battles. But we'll get him now. Sure did. Decided to set every unit on fire. Yes. Let's get him. Historians will question. How it is that John continued to be a leader of any meaningful e e efficacy or power. Alright, so. Units, the 16 unit types, they each have different mobility. Uh, if they have ranged options, uh, depending on the amount of arms you have, that determines how much ammunition they have. Uh, you have a number of turns available to you before this individual battle ends. I don't know how much difference, like, the weather makes in the grand scheme of things, other than, I think, like, speed. Like, moving over the main map. Uh, we've got... Move options, which is consumed in these increments. Uh, we have near, far, and charge attack, which relates to like the melee combat, the range combat, and the charge out combat I talked about uh, when I started going over tutorial stuff. We've got a lead thing, which allows me to lead a unit personally to make it a fight better. We have a revive option, uh, which, uh, if a unit is confused, allows me to recover it. And we have a delegate option, which is a... I don't feel like doing anything anymore, but... I basically have delegated this entire battle. <laughs> and it's gone as well as it should have. <laughs> and then info. I can look at individual, like, unit details to remind myself of what's strong. Uh, every unit starts with 200 strength and goes down. This is the Super Nintendo version of the game. Now, these knights don't have a ranged attack, and they won't actually come out here to get me. Uh, but I don't have a... I'm not good at melee. Thankfully, they're pretty weakened. They won't say that, uh, that John was an effective leader of troops. But they will say that he won this battle. I think they will say that. Since I've set just about every other troop I have on fire, I think we got this one in the back. Actually, not enough wiggle room there. I think we can still attack. We sure can. Yeah, they have no men yet left. They've all been set on fire by the other legions, which in turn has obliterated those legions. We're fine. I mean, other than the fact that I'll need to replace my entire army, including all those knights, which will prevent me from sweeping through the Middle West like I wanted. Details. So yeah, the AI, when it's locked into, like, defensive postures, doesn't really come out, even when it should. This, uh, is what leads to it being so abusable. Like, in a case of knights who do not have a ranged option at all, like, he's not gonna come engage my ranged units in melee. 
and he should. He's just gonna stand there. So I can just shoot with impunity. Yes, knights are horrendously expensive and god awful. But they are a mounted unit that can accomplish mounted things, and they can bully infantry. Can't move this guy up yet. Alright. There's practically no strength left in that unit. Thanks to setting, like, 15 of my 20 troops on fire. You too can take the Iberian Peninsula like John the First. <laughs> That's that. Defeating Legion 1 automatically secures your victory. Uh, we will get some uh, extra troops from that other Legion that was still on the board. That's nice. I have nothing to say to you. Look at how charming you are. That is offensive to me. I will release you. Ralvin? 15 body. Sea War. Want to join me? I'm not really looking for Sea War dudes, but, uh... We've had some incidences recently. Oldor! Get out of my face. Mardor! You can also get out of my face. Farewell. Wesson. Congratulations. Sancho, we're gonna go ahead and say no to you. Not so, uh, yeah! <laughs> all of the blood that seeped into the soil. Has blessed us. We will call this child Grant. Good news, everyone. Uh We're intact. Yeah, you're making tons of bank there. You'll have enough to recruit troops. You'll be fine. You won't have enough mu stuff to feed them. But you'll figure it out, provided no one just runs right over you. Yeah, you'll be good. And maybe you won't even revolt against me. It'll be fine. My entire fucking army is disintegrated, because, you know, I set it on fire. That's... That's my privilege. I'm the king. I got a knight, <laughs> two longbows, two crossbows, and two pikes. Good. <laughs> Those knights were holding me back anyway. How we doing over here? I was hoping that would be weaker. Damn. After all those units I lost to. Fuck. All right. Yeah, I just had to sacrifice my entire army for his son. That was the price. No merchants. Unacceptable.
How much time am I gonna spend here? He said, gritting his teeth. Having to accept the consequences of his actions, yet unwilling to do so. I might be here for a bit. Since I set my army on fire. With high quality, intense gameplay. I did it for fairness, so that the AI was not abused by my <laughs> mastery of strategy. <laughs> That's why I did it. Never let anyone tell you otherwise. I want to give the AI a fighting chance. That's why I chose to play as John the First instead of Genghis Khan or Philip. You know, more effective and capable leaders. Here, let's give them 800 food. Here you go, folks. Yay, celebration. Do, do, do. It's all right. My fleet of children will uh, bring peace to this world. Trust me. Look at my chip. France has been hit by a drought. They'll be fine. They'll bounce back. They're resilient people. One thing's for sure, I am not sweeping anywhere. What do you mean not playing this game for 16 years and playing as John the First and not fighting battles individually? has put me in this situation. I don't understand. <laughs> How has everything not gone my way? I don't get it. I am completely baffled by these circumstances. If either of my dudes rebelled against me, I would not have the army to put them immediately in place. It's heartbreaking. I know if it isn't the consequences of my own actions. Son of a bitch. I hate that. We could use some more territory, dear. Listen, I'm working on it. Do you see how many people I just sacrificed for territory? It's all because they rejected my alliance. I would have gone after Germany if, if the Castilian Kingdom had just accepted my alliance. But no. Here comes the Shogunate. Hey, don't you be sending messengers to talk to my people. Hey. We have a no media policy, sir. You can't just... If you want to send a messenger, you have to come to me. You don't get to just be in France. What a... what a jerk. down to 1.0 at least. That's pretty nice, but I might need this money to do things. To commit crimes. You know. Crimes. Crimes. 
gonna hold on to that cash and my seven dudes. How about we make this another five dudes? Feeling kind of vulnerable here. They're pretty crummy dudes. But they're dudes. I'm gonna save the rest of the gold. My arms stat is really low. I wanna keep the rest of this money just in case I need to do something. You know how it is. My steam roller that I didn't dreamed of, that I envisioned, uh, never got to work. I could also just leave this territory, then go back to France. Like, well, this is perfectly good here. Change my mind. Just send the troops over to France. But I fought so hard for this place, and I, it would, I would be loath to just give it up. The sacrifices of the people, you know? That <laughs> I care about so much. I'd probably be more convincing if I wasn't laughing, huh? Alright, training them up two ticks at a time. Good work, John. Yeah. Uh, John's here because he wanted a tan. That's what it was. He was envious of the olive skin uh, present here on the Iberian Peninsula. He wanted to see Gibraltar. I guess. He's, he looks at it and goes, Well, this is a fucking place. <laughs> Shogunate wins another defense. Okay. Samurai units plus Mongol units. Hey, we're talking to him. So, um... 27 and 29 is the, uh, the Capets that's led by Philip II, who used to be stationed in France. Uh, 24, 25, 28, and 30, that's the Roman Empire. They start off in Germany, uh, which is has been taken over by Philip. But talking to him, <laughs> they, they're probably demanding tribute from him. Just constantly punching money out of him. Now the Chinese merchant's here, but the Venetian merchant's gone. Ah. Alright, we're not well equipped, but we'll be well trained, if nothing else. I guess. If I just took Italy, I could have a Venetian merchant on tap all the time. They only have one knight there, too. there. Oh, the Sultanate is getting beat up by India. Actual India. Exactly what it says on the tin India. The Sultanate has 3, 15, and 22. Again, no penalty that I'm aware of for, like, the distances other than you can't, like, transfer things, like, to that province, because it's not adjacent. When you transfer things, you can only do it, like, one province at a time. It's slow. Oh, pagan one. Damn, pagans are everywhere. I know, the border gore. Is this basically risk? If you water it down to like risk of being a game of conquest, then yes, this is a game of conquest. Yeah, this uh, music loop, 
uh, was an unforeseen consequence of choosing to start over here. Uh, as we tra as we like play in different provinces, we actually get out of Europe. You'll hear different music, but we live here now. This is our home. I thought I would be breaking free from here sooner, but things have happened as they do, and the rate is now two point six. Okay, understood. I guess I should have just stayed in France and built up more. Or maybe in England and built up more. I wanted to give folks a show. I remember how to play the game. Hey. That's cool. I was hoping 17 would be weaker than what it was, and... I think I still could have gotten them to retreat anyway, if I actually had more of an intact army. The phrase border gore is referring to, like, the disgusting national borders that are happening here. Like, there are some contiguous, like, nations, and then there's some that are just separate. For folks who care about aesthetically pleasing, like, lines on a map, this can be upsetting. Peek at the generals, just C's and D's in war. Oh, there's a B there, right? Art. Good. Art was the commander of my knights. You know. You remember my knights, right? That was the kids! Looking good, children. Looking good. I was just playing, I was role-playing as John there, you know? <laughs> Will you have, like, a revolt or rebellion or something? I think a fucking 20 stack is just gonna be built up here. Gross. I'm not gonna be able to take that. I might as well just fucking ditch 33. I did not catch them in a moment of weakness at all. Deeply upsetting. Out of curiosity, what are you doing with the money? Anything? What kind of troops are you getting over here? How you doing? Okay. That's how you're doing. Understood. I was thinking about spending multiple turns moving my ruler to places and having other turns spent manually scooping things up myself, but... What if, what if 33 gets attacked or rebels while I'm away? Ah! Supplies to here. Send a thousand gold. Send that much food. Send the goods. War. Move myself.
Damn. Move the France got hit by a blizzard. You believe this. We've not done great in our path to world conquest. What is this? Look at the state of this nation. Unbelievable. Uh, okay. Diplomacy. Hey. Would you like to have your side protected over here? Go get him, Langton. <sighs> How could you reject John like that? Come on. I'm good for it. I should have checked the merchants first. Son of a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> There's three merchants here. <laughs> Grant. There's three merchants here. <laughs> oh, well. Just got the letter ride. I have three units. I don't have the body to buy and sell the same turn. You sent me a chart. Appreciate it. Looking on game facts for me. Thank you. I'm gonna let the money ride. Hopefully, uh, the merchants are in town next turn. I would have, uh, held off on doing what I did with, um, sorry, losing my train of thought. I would have held off on trying to send that alliance. I also probably shouldn't leave, uh, the Castilian, uh, leader with as many troops as I have. Well, I may, like, there's a rebellion there. Not a rebellion, but like a someone striking out for the Roman Empire. The reason why I'm saying I shouldn't have left uh, the Iberian Peninsula with that many troops is because I only have three here, and if there's a revolt, I can't. I'm gonna be in a bad spot. I get 33 breaks away from me. Yeah. So. 30 there broke away from the Roman Empire and has made a new nation using uh, Mongolia's colors. The merchants are still here. So we're going to be buying medicine and uh, we're going to be selling it to the Venetians. No, I didn't mean to collect that. My bad. printing press fired up. Huzzah! Okay. You probably have the body to do this. Uh, give me, like, some dudes. You can keep some dudes. But give me a dude. Like, cool, I will give you some dudes. You can have a, a sum of dudes. Great. I like you. You didn't tell me no. I like not being told no. That's good. Yep. Just the Iger's here now. I ended up missing out on one turn of selling of medicine deals. Oh well. Rates 2.0? That's not a good rate for me to buy arms. This army's poorly equipped. When I say army, I say it very loosely. It is a confederation of individuals. Who can be said to exist in some form or fashion. A loose association. Pagans hold Tibet. Again, Tibet, hardest province to fight.
to take, to attack in this game. The Shogunate is on the move once more. Okie dokie. Howdy! So you revolt from the Romans and you just tell me to give up and go home. up. I'm good. Let's keep this whole concept of training. The few units I have. And uh, waiting for an opportunity. I guess. You looking, revolters? What kind of army you got going on here? Six pikes. What are you looking over here? Six knights. Have you done any sort of replenishment at all? Not particularly, but you do have my my final surviving knight. I guess there's that. Alright, cool. I end my turn. Slower than I would have liked for sure, but... It's been a while, I'm playing as John. These things happen. I'm having a good time, he said through gritted teeth. Hey, you, you didn't want to send me money. Send me a dude. Send me two dudes. Two whole dudes of your three dudes. Don't upset me. I might replace you with someone who might send me dudes. Good. I'm glad we've reached an understanding. Griffith looks over his shoulder back towards Iberia. That's it. Speed the game up a little bit. They didn't accept my alliance and then they took Iberia from me? Not a surprise. How many of the troops did he bring with him? <laughs> okay, I can't punish. <laughs> I would like to beat those troops by having access to those troops, but we live in this world now. Alright, I have to now concede I can't just sweep through with, like, mobs of shit and, like, claim that stuff. <laughs> Alright. I don't like these units. <laughs> I don't even have notepads. <laughs> Why am I playing as John? <laughs> I don't want to be over here. <laughs> I'm sad.
so I would want a unit that was quick enough to get into melee with it and beat it up. Because it's great at ranged. But it has C's in melee as well. Which means it's just as good as some other units that don't even have ranged options. Or almost as good. Yeah, I'd want... I'd want, like, a Nomad or a Lancer. A Mamluk. She's old enough to marry to someone now. I don't have someone suitable. That's right, you can marry off the kids at 10. Just like you can make your sons of the generals at 10. You got it, Kiros. The D20 fell off the desk and into the darkness. Let's give you a reroll. That's a 10. Alright. Let's not get frozen in indecision here. All this crying I'm doing. It's not gonna help anything. As much as I want it to. I know sobbing profusely is fun for the whole family. Just grumble. I remember when I had momentum. Seems like so many years ago. Why are these nations around me not fighting someone? <laughs> Let's uh, give these people something to eat. Love me. They're like, we can't eat this. Why would you give us this? We can't do anything with this. Do not question, John. Shall keep biding our time. Listening to this damn music. This several second loop. Howdy. No, I don't want a game over. I understand why you believe I should, though. Really, I can't blame you. You're looking at my chin and going, that guy looks pretty stupid. And I'm like, yeah, yeah, I could see it. Not a satisfying enough rate for me to buy arms. The rates have been so high in this... today. Rate goes low, there's no immersion near me, son of a bitch. Basically what's happening down here is what I would have wanted to do myself, like bottleneck all these places so that no one could attack them. I remember, those were good times. All the blood that I sacrificed in Iberia for my son. <laughs> 
and yet I've lost Iberia. It's upsetting. What do you mean they were consequences to me setting my entire army on fire? I don't understand. What are consequences to your actions? I don't get it. What is a consequence? Yeah, that would cost all my gold. I'm, I'm, I'm role-playing here as John, you know. He doesn't oppress peasants. You want to ally for six years? I usually say no to this, but I'm not going anywhere right now, so tell you what. You got it, buddy. I won't beat you up for the next six years. You've got a friend in me. John, honorer of alliances <laughs> and other deals. We're just like in an arms race stalemate over here. It's gross. This is not a stalemate. I'm going to win with troop quality. I'll have to apply myself. Ew. Ew, get it away from me. Personally, I don't trust Arten. Okay, honey. What are you talking about? I totally fought a manual battle, like... <laughs> Son of a bitch. Another blizzard. The winters are harsh. But fair. Fair winters. My poor farming economy. My loyalty has dropped. It's my fault the blizzard hit. The people say that John has cursed them. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking peasants. After all those all that jewelry I gave them. The economy, you fools! Okay. No rush. We've got all the time in the world. I'll continue to stare at the other nations in our arms race. Do this up a bit here. Doesn't help me. Howdy. No, I don't want to game over, thank you. Probably trying to provoke me into attacking. Heard stories of how I got provoked last time. That's what's happening. Let me check the merchants first. Still the Venetian version. I like how I keep looking at 33 as if I'm expecting that to change, and it's led by a trusted retainer, so this province is not going to revolt. He just kept looking at the signs to see whether the situation would improve, but it never did. I don't understand. No one understands, John. India's over there crushing it, at least. Probably have a few of those elephants that, uh, the dev haven't loved so much. Philip makes a move from 27. Baby. 
Still the same situation with the merchants? Yep, still the same Venetian merchant. It's, uh, yeah. The Capetian Kingdom versus the Roman Empire. You know. As it's known. Your situation's not improving. Let's flip a table. Let's pout, flip a table, admit that none of it's my fault, and then do something. Damn, it costs 12 to demand things for people. Unbelievable. Wife, can you believe it cost me 12 body to demand things from people? Yeah, the Shogunate. It's still vibing over there, for sure. These people are gonna hate me anyway. It's only 412 gold, that that. <laughs> Maybe if I leave France behind to attack 29, Alchemir attacks 32, and then ends up splitting the army somewhere around here, and that's how I get him dead to rights. Or maybe I just run my face face first in that buzzsaw. You know what? John doesn't learn. I'm role-playing here. Yes. Yes. John's not even the best war leader. He's taking him, though. Sure. You. That's right. I'm just role-playing as someone who does bad decision-making with my 16 units instead of 20. They're already superior troops. Am I gonna just not outnumber them on top of that? <laughs> Grimace slows down. Let's ask our wife. Oh, that was actually our daughter telling us to be careful. I just blitzed right past the screen. She's right though, I should be careful. Still not paying tribute. <gasps> Are you going to bisect the Shogunate? The Shogunate's been bisected! Gasp! I don't know how they'll recover.
You know, I'm glad starting has John. And punching myself in the face. Has made things more difficult for myself. That's how it, how it should be. But now it's time to be serious. That's it. We're playing for keeps now, everyone. He said, winking at the viewers. Was Grimoth actually going to play seriously? No one could be certain. Or whether he was just being an asshole to himself and to everyone involved. It's not a great time to sell. It's time to get rid of these textiles, though. That's it. What are you doing up there? Okay. Hey. Don't do that. You know you want to send me some money. We'll just demand half of it. Less than half of it. Yeah! Good. What's up? I'm busy right now. Maybe I should wait until something happens over there in the east, but... Yeah, you're thinking of Three Kingdoms. It's time to crash and burn, baby. What would John the First do? <laughs> He's already been more successful right now than he's been in real life. It's all gravy from here. These are the stories I tell myself to sleep at have two legions that don't even have ranged options at all. No, not Langton. Alright. That's it. Let's go stab a bunch of horses. Uh... Yep. Yep. Let's get them. Maybe they'll retreat. <laughs> that was a joke for you. That's right, John's second invasion of Iberia. <laughs> He's back. And harder than ever. with moving around the mountains is that I don't want to attack from this angle, because walking to this square, uh, or this square will trigger an ambush from this enemy legion. And so, uh, I could uh, try to handhold my units in routing around here, like this, but I do only get one command a turn, and so... John's a really shitty leader. <laughs> It's a problem. He's working through it. I may not also be doing John any favors, but this time it's... <laughs> 
How dare you call me a shit waiter? I'm just as good as John would be. Wait a second. I feel like I would have ease in all these attributes as well if you just threw me into the 1200s. I'd be just as good. So, this is what happens when you zoom in onto an individual battle, uh, having triggered an ambush. I'm glad I could demonstrate this. All the units start off confused. Um, they take extra damage. I had someone recover. That's not a guaranteed chance to have someone recover. Cool. Uh, let's, uh, not charge. This all- these also are not the positions I would have chosen for the- units. <laughs> they have one ranged option over there. I don't have any. I'm upset that these guys walked into the ambush, but I should have known the AI pathfinding better. They were kind of going their own way anyway. Just walk here. And attack. I have consigned that area down there to the cell. Just beat up this dude. We're gonna get shot. Shit happens. I don't know how good their arm stuff is for, like, their, uh, their units. I did buy some arms a couple turns before this fight. Anyway, confused units die quickly. So, uh, th that's what an ambush looks like. This is what I want to do the it in me. Unfortunatecircumstances.com You also usually can charge uh, confused units relatively safely. Uh, however, you can be confused in the process, which is not delightful. Lead him. Go get him, Martin. Obviously picking on that heavily weakened unit, as they should. It's hoping to try and hold a choke point there of some semblance. Have the, uh, bow back there waste arrows. But you know. Confusion. We'll do what we can. Allows us to enjoy this sweet groove. I really did enjoy this groove as a kid. Spent a lot of time on battles. Finding ways to abuse the AI. Bullying unit people with Mongols and samurai. As one does.
Sure do, Death Evan. Sure do. And uh, in defense situations, like the AI holding a defensive position, they just won't move from their spots, as I showed off earlier in the stream. Knights don't have ranged options, so they just derp. These maps also end up being super cramped as well, due to all like the terrain and obstacles. And so there just isn't a whole lot of maneuverability at all. Some maps in particular are just really difficult to route units to attack. Alright, he's confused. I could charge him at this point. Or oh, I can't, I don't have the movement for it. I'll probably just attack him, but I'm thinking about like keeping him alive so that he just clogs up the line there. I actually think... Ah, yeah, I'm not gonna bother. Well, I did something the AI would not have done. Uh, in that ambush that's actually killed one of the enemy units. So, yippee, son of a bitch. <laughs> what a slap fight down there. You want to have the bigger number. You want to have most number. You want your number to be... Ah, oh, man. I was hoping to eliminate two of them. That's a no-go. With that failed revive. Hey! <laughs> yeah! <laughs> Down there. Yeah! <laughs> What a dumb battle. <laughs> oh, shit. Anyway, he's fucking dead now. Yeah, sure. Let us gently progress towards that bow. You know, gently. Actually, screw it. Go back in the corner. Get him! I could. Oh, man. Super low health. It's understandable. That, again, foregone conclusion, anyway. Nah, we were, we were locked into that battle. Can't retreat from that. Well, that sucked. Crimes occurred there. I will insist until my dying days those crimes were not my fault. But I would insist that, you know. That would be something I said.
Yeah, I'd have to kick the enemy off the last fort. They would have to decide to retreat from this fight. I'm gonna get you! Oh no! Bamboozled! Yes! I would. Thank you. Go ahead and deploy Unit 1 down here. Go ahead and deploy Unit 2 like so. Unit 3 can be here. And Unit 4 can be here. Oh good, you know. Yeah, we ambushed them, everyone. What a great successful ambush. Three recoveries. Perfect. Also, I ordered these units so that I could move the melee dudes out first and then the range one second. You know, one, two, three, four, but you 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 select your own order game, sure. Good ambush, everyone. Glad we did it. Glad we were here together as a family, ambushing everyone. I'm not bitter. This is a situation where the auto like like combat would have been better in that regard to capitalize on the ambushing. As it stands, um... These guys have an A at range attack. There's a lot of arrows there. They're on horseback. I can't reach. Yep. Anyway, yeah, so superior tactical positioning, and I would have benefited more from uh, it being auto sim, but we're here. Fighting these out. I don't have great dudes, like, leading these, like, these armies. I guess you're moving here. You know, no high war generals. It's a B and then a bunch of Cs. The units are very well trained, but, uh, I got, like, what, 51 arms? So, yeah, gotta be, uh, to get my ass kicked here, basically. With the, like, the fact that I had them confused from the ambush, basically just being irrelevant. Uh, basically, being irrelevant. I don't even know whether I should try and, like, waste the energy to revive him.
Fuck it. Fuck it. You're dead to me. What's even the point of strategic ambushes? Man. <laughs> I don't foresee them wanting to run from this combat, as in, like, the broader, like, overall, like, me fighting for this province. Because they're certainly in a great position, I mean, with their unit quality, and uh, also, it's not like my quantity is working wonders for me here. Get him, bud. No, don't worry about it. Not gonna lose the game. It's just gonna be like a 10 year setback. We're fine. Yes, damage to a unit per persists between fights. Uh, any units that still exist when the like the fight for the territory is over uh, are fully healed. Iberia will be known as John's Folly. So that was a good ambush, everyone. It's okay, though. Don't worry. We have another ambush. Wink. We'll get him this time. Now, of course, this is the unit that goes first, yeah? Oh, hey, three of them didn't instantly, like, heal and recover. How about that? The pike's blocking the night. My god. They're staying confused. Unbelievable. Yeah. That's one of my aggravations with just, like, fighting, like, field battles in general. It's just... Trees. Everywhere. Like, you want to maneuver around? Like, it's not King's Bounty, you know? Shit in the way. Probably be like rushing up to these confused dudes and just like attacking them in melee with the archers. Oh well.
You know what? I appreciate them all remaining in confusion. That makes me feel good after everything I've been through. Knights back here just chilling. Could have started like trying to ramp him around at this point. You still can't do anything. Hurt. Let's just take care of this unit. Hey, I would have gotten the knight in there to fuck shit up, but logjam. Probably could have had uh, the officer lead this one fucking pike, the little pike that could. Damn. I forgot how weird that attack angle is. This combat's almost over, as a matter of fact. These guys have remained perpetually confused. Thank you. Thank you for not having three dudes just heal out of confusion. Thank you for letting them remain confused the entirety of the ambush, not that I could have really made use out of it. Oh hey, a different battle map! How about that? What a time to be alive. Just sort them one, two, three, and four. Oh, they're all pikes. Okay. Yeah, these guys. The survivors from having ambushed me and me kicking their ass. Oh, those are real fences. They restrict movement, absolutely. Just like every fucking thing else in this damn game. I'm not even gonna bother, like, doing anything with these guys. Gonna force him to come up to me. The archer is gonna have beautiful protection back there. And we can two on one this dude. I could have probably lured him in a bit more and gotten a three on one in. But we live here now. This is the spot where we dwell. this up a little bit, yeah. I should actually, if I were actually intelligent, you know, get my three-on-one. Okay, I have a backup unit for uh, doing recoveries. Good. I 
Didn't bother charging. Um, you're not in good condition. How bad of a condition are you in? 54? I think that's going to be enough to finish off this guy. And then we'll scoot on away and go after that fucking bow. Come here, you piece of shit. I'ma get you. Let's move like that. No, I don't want to delegate. I'll lead too. Come up here. You know you're stupid enough to come up here. Good. Charge the bow. Okay. Okay. Sure. Why not? Yeah, attack the guy who isn't confused. <laughs> mm-hmm. We're gonna we're gonna pretend that doesn't happen. Good. Now he's got a C rating in war, uh, like everyone else except for one person. Anyway. Resolved. Huzzah. How we doing? Yeah, you're in pretty good condition. Level. Crack. <laughs> yeah, you're a really terrible condition. Mm hmm So, uh... How about we, uh, order Legion 3 to just get the fuck out of there? They're booking it! I don't really have the, uh... Like, I don't have, like, the maneuverability to take all of the settlements. I don't have the leadership, like, unit term, space, buck, doodads. It's a problem. I was thinking about going after, like, that other legion to sort of, like, deal more damage. But I'll think I'll just, uh... Hmm! <laughs> this is another example of how aggravating these maps are. Oh, hey, yeah, this random spot in the grass out here in the open fields. Here's, like, these little fences just scattered around so that you can only fit one unit in, and the defender who gets ambushed uh, can attack you with, like, multiple dudes. It's, like, great. Wonderful. I'm thrilled. Truly overjoyed. Two of their units... Two of their units auto-recover from the ambush after that first turn, and uh, then they heal the other two at the end. You know, the end. Fucking pike they could. 
However, the AI has put itself into an awkwardish position for like actually like engaging in this interaction. Speed this up though. We have stuff to do. Yeah, go ahead and shoot the pike. It it did a lot. But we slow this down, that's too fast. Alright, ostensibly I should just be able to charge and save Christmas, but I'm skittish now. Not charging should be the thing I do with knights. But I've been burned so many times now. <laughs> Just shoot this dude. I... The fact that Legion 1 just did, like, a loopy loop back to... I don't understand, but it happened. I'm just gonna stand you up here. Uh, you're really weak, and I don't really want you fighting a lot in melee, but... It's gonna happen. We're losing units. Casualties will occur. Finishes that off and immediately just shoots. Good. Alright. Let's do what the knight is the best at. We would have needed this, uh, Legion 1 to be an ambush for more turns. Our horse archers are absolutely not the best units in this game. Mongols are. However, horse archers are a mounted unit, which makes them better than the, uh, what I've got. And they're certainly better than knights. Naturally, the step up there, uh, we got a lot of turns of this. Because they recover from the ambush super quick. And, uh... My legion here is gonna get wiped in this fight. We're the ambushing party. Uh... It surprised me too, as much as it surprised them, Wink. But, uh, we're gonna get fucked. Guess I'll divide my damage. That seems strategic. You should do that, Grimma. Just divide your damage. The bold play, Grimma. I wasn't expecting to lose this Legion. You know, and the fact that they were going to retreat and I would not have attacked with this Legion. <laughs> That the AI swiveled as it did, I still can't understand. But they did. That's gonna work out pretty well for them. They might actually just stop retreating, like, general now. And they're actually moving forward to allow, like, their units back there more access to get me. It's not anything I do about it. I can't run from this fight. Continue to use the knight strength. That was the knight's strength. Go whack a, a horse archer with a crossbow. Another situation where this fight would have played out, uh better, uh, in Sim. But the strength! The strength of the, of the knights, I don't understand! They're great at charging! I don't get it! How could they fail like that?
why couldn't you just be content with running away from the battle like you telegraphed to me? <laughs> I could have kept my last night. I could have kept that entire legion. Those units didn't have to die. They changed their minds. Like, you're in no condition to fight. You're absolutely in no condition to fight. It's gotta be Jean! You're... You have the temerity to eliminate my legion? And then walk away from me? I mean, you're gonna escape. So what I'm thinking happened there, uh, like, from, like, a game mechanics perspective, is that uh, the the AI was set to retreat, but Legion 1 was trying to look for the quickest path to get to a flag that allowed you to retreat, and Legion 2 was kind of in the way, and so it looped back around to this tile, which I, or in this way, where I had an ambush set up, which automatically procced, which got my Legion wiped out. A bank error in the AI's favor. I can't stop them from retreating. Unless I win this fight. Legion 2's already escaped. Look, it's the same onerous battlefield. Good. I could I could let them retreat and take this province. But King John is going to go down here. John's folly. Ranged firepower. It'll be gross. I think we're just going to keep awkwardly staring at each other. You know what? Fine. <laughs> I don't think the defender is going to come out of there, and uh, this attacker is not coming out of there, not going in there. I'm also not delegating, because that's going to send my units into that fucking arrow bloodbath. Alright. History will tell that uh, John's Folly was an attempt to pursue these horse archers, but it turns out they're all on horseback. And uh, John's army wasn't, so they couldn't catch the horse archers. The end. <laughs> what a good story. So... <sighs> lost... 11 dudes? Could have been 7, were it not for that uh, other ambush gone wrong. There at the end during the retreat. I'm pretty bitter about that, so you get to die. Just a point a person of local talent. I don't want Barcel.
Anyway, I hope you folks enjoyed, like, the hour or so break we had from this music, because we're back to it now. <laughs> Oh, a betrayal down there. I don't even know what condition, like, my economy in here is going to be with my money. Okay, good. Good. That's the condition we're in. Okay. Yeah, we're kind of roughed up. Would have been nice to not allow the extra four horse archers to retreat. Because that added to there. Otherwise, it just would have been three short bows and two horse archers. It's not like I can recruit better troops, though, without hiring, like, mercenaries from a merchant. Uh, and it's not like I have the gold to do that. It's not like I have the stuff to sell to do that. Can't wheel and deal my way out of this. Tell you what, sell the gems. Right is only 1.0? Fuck it. Get rid of them. They're dead to me. I'm about to be dead to me in a moment. <laughs> Hold on, let me get my beverage. Fun remembering this game. The laughs, the good times, playing as John, getting fucked by mounted units when you're just using dudes without horses and knights. Memories, you know? Hey, quit talking to France. You lost France. Except that you lost France, and move on, Philip. India, perhaps the strongest power in this game. <laughs> oh, Roman Empire has something to say about that. Roman Empire punishes India. Takes Constantinople. The folks who broke off from the Gore Sultanate. They have a good time. Meanwhile, I look at the blood-soaked fields of Iberia, and I nod. Yes, all is as it should be. <laughs> No merchants? What? Alright, we're perfectly trained. How's the how's the fleet of kids doing? We got marriageable women. I don't have an officer I'd want to marry them off to. I've missed you, Daddy. I'm invoking Marin Gore. You know. From King of Dragon Pez. Let's look for a local talent. Jason! I'm gonna boot Jason into the cosmos. Holton! Holt! Oh. <laughs> nope. Shogun, it's gonna heal its wound. And there goes Nansun. Abundant harvest! In France! As soon as John leaves, 
Everything's glowing again in France. Hmm. What's going on over here, Weston? With your six nights. You haven't recruited anything in my absence, it's understandable. I did take everything with me. Alright, let's try this. Since I'm mired here in hell. Send the units, please. Spend time with the family again. Be careful in battle, Father. You got it. That's me, Mr. Careful. Fine. Don't boot the troops. See if I care, Baka. I didn't want you to protect France anyway. I'm more successful of a conqueror than Richard the Lionheart was, though. I think John can have that. Yeah. Fuck you, Richard. Where's my deals at? Can't wheel and deal, man. Alright. What if you move half your dudes? Fine. Keep all your dudes. You have the movement points. <laughs> Yay! Rates 1.2. We have room to make some deals. Let's buy some silk. No, I didn't mean to do that. Try that again. Won't make too much for a profit, because I didn't have that much seed capital. But I will get some money, which is good. I could use the five, uh, power to, like, buy more silk, but concerned that uh, the Venetian merchant might move away. But we'll just leave it alone. I'll keep the money, though. We'll hold on to it. Can't do anything with my five power that I would want to do. Grant's not old enough yet, he's nine, is it a ten? So how about we just take these this five political power body and just donate to charity? Minamoto, continuing to lead the charge westward. <laughs> Cuts down the leader of the Guri Sultanate. The Shogunate here. Audi. Philip? Invading the Balkans. That's where Constantinople is. Alright. Do we have opportunity to wheel and deal again? Yes. I know. <laughs> you know. You you all remember the Shogunate's invasion of Europe? <laughs> In the summer of 1223. You're all well versed in that history, right? Oh, 
man. Those nomads. They're so pricey. That's how poor I am, huh? That is, in fact, how poor I am. Let's keep bankrolling money, I guess. Grumble, 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 grumble. Move troops this turn. Four. I will come up there <laughs> and punch you in the face. Pagan faded into history. Farewell, Pagan. When Grant comes of age, I'm putting him in charge of England. He'll listen to my orders, damn it. <laughs> He won't tell me, no. Yeah, there's a lot of powerful blobs. I'm not one of them. I am a force comprising of blood and pikes. Sultanate under new management. Not ten yet. Old eldest daughter's 15. Still unwed. Oh, the pressure weighs heavily upon John. <laughs> Look at how concerned he is. <laughs> I'm pleased his body hasn't dropped at all yet, though, from, from aging. That's nice. Not getting any younger, though. Factually correct. Not getting younger. It's good intel. He is definitely mid fifties. Grant is such a mischievous boy. You hear that, Grant? Hear the stories of your mischief? Hmm? <laughs> Do not talk that way to your mother. <laughs> what did you say to me? <laughs> Oh no, Langton has passed away. The one my wife warned me about so much. The man with bee charm. Grant's got hit by a blizzard. I think uh, one more year has to pass, and then he'll turn ten. Well, not one, like one more season. Anything interesting going on in the market? Nope. We're just holding, holding, holding steady, holding pat. I guess. I don't have any momentum on my side at all. Don't put too much trust in Ralvin. You got it, wife. Be careful in battle, father. Uh, you know what? I'll think about it. No promise. Alright, he's 10. 
Let's see how well he turned out. Welcome, my son. At last, I can follow in your footsteps. <laughs> Alright, let's look at how good this kid is. Holy shit! A in war? Only 11 body. C in politics, though. Just as charming as his old man. Literally just as charming as this old man. <laughs> Cade. He is, uh, one better in politics, two better in war, uh, one worse in leadership. Just the same at charm, and his body is much less. So, um... I would, uh, you know, it's got to be interesting when uh, he takes control. We'll put it like that. Order. Uh, person. Appoint governor of a vassal state. Get over there, kid. Upon my life, I will do my duty. You replace me with that. How dare you talk to my son like that? <laughs> I'm, you know what, I'm actually tickled that, uh, the kid turned out that well. Considering where he came from, I am going to spend the power right now. It is miss your ass. Get the fuck out of here. I hope to see- Alright. That wasn't creepy. You have no troops up there? Good. Alright, my boy. Here's what I'm gonna have you do. You need to send money. To France, otherwise they're gonna go super poor, and then they're not gonna be able to pay the troops that are there. Really, you should be in charge of the troops, but... I thought there were troops to move in England. But apparently they were moved. We're not gonna we're not gonna worry about it. This is the position we're in now. Order. Move supplies. Send gold. Send 800 of them. Go get them, Graham. I hope to see you again. <laughs> Good. I'm not doing anything valuable with my turns. Just, you know, wasting away. Again. <laughs> I hear ya. <laughs> the music. Can character stats grow? To my knowledge, no. I've not seen this. It's not the kind of game where they evolve. Yeah, once you once you've reached adulthood, that's it. For sure. They can only decline. So I'm going to take the time here. Now, with my turn units here, 
to not actually move my kid to France uh, with the army. Uh, because there are deals to be made. Papa's, Papa's gotta buy some medicine. For the people? Nonsense. Eight, huh? Rate so eight, huh? I'm counting on another turn of being able to buy medicine and sell it. But what if? Derped my way to victory. Hear me out here. What if... <laughs> I rebuilt the blob, and the blob worked. Huh? Huh? To help everyone in the quest to obtain new music for them. I care deeply about their well-being. Right. We're gonna throw in light, light infantry. We're gonna throw light infantry at everything. It's our way of conflict resolution. Spare Grant. A lot of things happen in there in France, but they do actually have an army now. How good are you? If you were like War B, we could have something there, but I'm gonna have to kill you. Alright, as I predicted. Yep. I did have another turn to wheel and deal. Well, I'll just have to do it at, like, reduced rates. Because I bought that fucking blob. Of course, also wait until the rate goes up. What are you doing over here, Grant? How's it going? It's like I'm sulking. As one does. How's this place looking? Still... 
still that. Alright, cool. I wanted to get the blob, uh, hope to, like, spook the AI when attacking it with, like, a big 20. That's why I've done what I've done. Poorly trained though may they may be. Alliance has expired. Understood. All right. Let's train once. Let's make sure that we're not about to walk into a horrific situation. We can take him. We'll leave battles turned on. Let's go. I don't want to form the legions myself. No, that's not okay. I said I didn't want to form the legions myself. <laughs> Abort the invasion, please. <laughs> Let's try that again. Let's command it. Don't. 20. Cool. Everything. Everything. Let's go. I have to save my viewers from Europe's music. No. It's a pity. Those troops certainly would have been better than the mobs I recruited, but, uh, I can't fit them into my army. Okay! Howdy, you choose death before dishonor? You got it, boss. You wanna join me? I will marry you to a daughter. Yes! <laughs> Welcome aboard! <laughs> nah. Having to settle for marrying my, my fleet of daughters to people with bees and war. Oh, are we gonna bisect the Shogunate again? Sure are. My daughter Armada. Mm -hmm. Opportunity, opportunity. Please, thank you. Now we can enjoy this tune until you folks get tired of it. We're finally out of Europe. I did it, viewers. <laughs> As we know, historically, the pyramids were located over here, yeah? That's where they put those. Welcome to the family. You're just as charming as me. Yes. Take care of my daughter. Now you can see, he is a loyal retainer. We can put him in charge of a place and he will not betray us. He is committed to the family. How we looking here with troop count? Yeah, they'll run from me. 
I got shit to do, man. Let's fucking go. If they don't run to me, that we have a problem because we are a paper light infantry tiger. Good. I'ma get you. <laughs> Ended up erasing one of their legions. how bleak it looked, folks. Finally managed to follow through with sweeping through down here. You choose death before dishonor? You got it, boss. Uh, just give me a dude. Walton, you're up. Um... I mean, on the one hand, I am lacking a charm dude to, like, rattle a saber at people. On the other hand, I don't know whether the six-body, 65-year-old is, uh... This... <laughs> How about, uh... But no. Appreciate the offer, though. Oh, okay. Yes. Yes. Make it easier for me. Yes. I was gonna fiddle with, like, managing people and, and put someone in charge of France, but... Damn it! No! Not now, John! <laughs> Are you fucking kidding me, Walton? <laughs> I just put you in charge there. Okay. So my body's lowered now. How bad is it? 11? Game, please. Thirteen. Okay. Could be worse. Could be worse. Could be better. Could be worse. So, uh... Something I need to do is retrieve my heir from England. I'd only put him there temporarily to, like, move stuff there. But then it ended up not being necessary. I want him with me so that when John dies, I can station, restation my home base, like, where I currently am. Otherwise, my, my home base will basically be in England and away from my troops where they are. So, uh, let's do a quick check. I just put you in charge there. You're not going to have any dudes, because you have no supplies or anything. Uh, annoying the piss out of me, as one does. I don't really have the supplies or resources to be doing this. Yeah, I'll form a legion myself. Uh... Tell you what, Darasi, this gets to be yours. This is your moment. Uh, take one of these dudes. I was going to keep pushing forward to 16, but we got to do this. No, that's it. You get to have 100 bucks. You get to have 50 bucks. And 100 food. Have fun. Bring him to me. John curls his finger as Walton is hot hauled forward. How about that?
It's a terrible time to sell. I should have enough gold to handle things fine, just fine. I guess these five points are going to charity. I did want to... Wanted to do things I can't do right now, so... We'll just have to grit our teeth and bear it. And just, uh, bank on John not dying. Gotta press advantages and all that. You know how it is. Can't really attack, though. I'm too broke. So, uh, I guess that kind of forces my hand. Maybe after this turn, which means here's what we can do. A point. My trusted man. Here. So that I don't have to worry about those troops leaving my side. It will suck to lose the war bee guy. Next turn, I can recall my boy. Let's train my mob of, uh, of filthy light infantry. I don't have enough body to do this anymore. Alright, my boy. Next turn, we recall you. I want to train, but I should definitely scout to make sure the situation hasn't changed. I have 19 units. Is it still just 9 that's there? It's 7. Yeah, we press forward. I pressed on attack. Make hay while the sun shines! Hold that thought. No merchants, huh? Sure, we'll probably be fine. He says, choosing to believe, well, that's true. You don't worry about it. It's cool. We're good. No negativity. I'ma get you. <laughs> That's my boy. Oh, uh, shit. Howdy! What's up over here, y'all? <laughs> hey! Hey, guess what I did, Richard the Lionheart? Hmm? Guess what I did? I took Jerusalem! You didn't even try to take Jerusalem! I got Jerusalem! Who's the Lionheart now? Who's the Crusader? It's me, John! <laughs> Guess what, family? Guess what, brother? I took Jerusalem! Where's your superior war and leadership skills now? That's what you get for spending your time in France! Shitty with the economy! Prince John reigns supreme! King John! Lord of Jerusalem! <laughs> Got your fucking crusade right here!
<laughs> it's some fucking shit, though, that John takes Jerusalem. <laughs> oh! Blessed by Jesus! How about that? Where you at now, Richard? Hmm? <laughs> So fucking dumb. <laughs> What's that? You never had the holy city, hmm? Failed in your third crusade, brother? <laughs> Would have been some shit of a blizzard in Jerusalem instead, right? There goes the saltman. Alright. I do not have remotely enough money to pay for this fucking army. But it's okay. I can't make three deals here, unfortunately, which would be enough to like give me some seed capital to engage in this trade. We'll have to settle for the two. Also, I see what you said, my grant. So I'd probably sell glass here. I think I'll just spend the turn doing that, despite my utter lack of cash. No, I have to sell food. Like, I can't do the whole glass thing. I don't have enough money to make any sort of meaningful profit off of that. I have shit tons of food, but thanks to my bountiful harvest, I gotta hold this together. Who pays more for food? Or is it going to be the same amount of 1.0? Okay. Yeah. Let's sell 5,000 food. We'll sell 5,500 food. Alright. And uh, while I could wheel a deal a bit with merchants, that's just enough power for me to... Pull my son out of England and bring him to me. Fetch my son. <laughs> I don't know who the fuck I'm gonna appoint in his place. I don't trust any of these bastards I have. I guess I should have uh, picked up one of the local talents after all, huh? Let me look at the generals I have. Because I can't have a local talent pick it up. Um... Jordan was the one who was overseeing France, so I think I'm going to put him in charge of England. Get over here, son. How are you folks doing with troops? You too have heard of light infantry. Son of a bitch. <laughs> Anywho, out of curiosity, how is France doing these days? It's nice to have someone I can trust over here overseeing this area. I mean, it's not great troop wise, but I'm sure he could heal that. And hopefully he'll be with me for some time. As someone we can trust. He's part of the family. Mardor over here looking angry as fuck. Looking at the blood-soaked... Like, it's not just John's troops that have died in Iberia. Many, many, many people have died in Iberia. Uh, Alright. Anywho. It's in the turn. up. Perhaps you have an offer for an alliance. No. I don't know whether actually giving the AI tribute would meaningfully affect their odds of attacking you. I don't know the mechanics of the game well enough to say that. But 
forced a truce, I think it perhaps would be something to consider. Anyway, uh... Trisected? You want to call that trisected? We'll call that trisected. Oh, Islamic, Venetian, and Chinese? Well, we're here to buy the silk. Uh, and I got the cash. I could have sold more food, but, you know, just in case. No, I didn't want to sell fur. You cannot even sell all the silk. I'm rich! I took Jerusalem, and I'm swimming in gold! Where you at, Richard? <laughs> What's up, Richard? Hmm? Okay, that is, uh, the Roman Empire's only province. Italy, uh, can be a little onerous to attack. They don't have much there. So I think even my mobs of light infantry could save Christmas. Not that I'm gonna move from this spot right now. Let's uh, have a look down here. What kind of troops you got? Yeah, I could attack that and force them to run. They would retreat to 20. Uh, this also uh, being here is an opportunity for me to replace some of my units with uh, other dudes. You know, dudes. Mm, perhaps in the future turns. I hope you folks are enjoying our musical break from Europe. I'm glad I could spirit us from this hell. That hell. There goes the Roman Empire, folks. The Capets, former rulers of France, are still hanging strong up there. Farewell, Lithuania. This has certainly been a board, huh? I freely admit, if you offered me an alliance, I would accept. And instead of taking 19. I have to spend some money. It is mechanically obligated. I have too much money. I cannot go into five digits. I am so wealthy. What do I do? Give money to the poor people? <laughs> I tell you what I'll do. I'll invest the money in silk. That's what I'll do with my turn. We'll uh, keep a backlog of silk. You know, just in case lean times. John takes Jerusalem and opens up a printing press there. You know. <laughs> you damn right he does. Oh no! I have too much money! Damn! And I have thousands of silk. Thousands of hot silk <laughs> in this game. Hot single silk. <laughs> I butchered what I wanted to say there of hot silk in this area, waiting for you, waiting for love. You know, just in case I need money. The more provinces you take, the more, like, specialties you'll start accruing. It's delicious. We don't have the, uh, political power to donate money to the poor people. But, uh, you just wait, folks. His hey. Hey, don't you... Hey. Hey, hey, I used to have enough money to be able to do this. You watch your mouth, advisor who doesn't even exist, because I have an appointed one. 
is my advisor's my chin. I'm going to look at troop prices. But fine, 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 whatever. Whatever, fine. No, it's cool. You doing good over here? I left you in a pretty good position. You know, with economy and whatever. You should be building up more troops, though. How's this place now that you've just, like, taken it? What's your troop count there? Okay. How's, uh, 29 looking? Seven crossbows. Understood. You still rocking the same army over here? You are. I would go over there and take that province, but I have so much money! <laughs> Hear that, brother? Hmm? Look at all the profit I made from taking Jerusalem, hmm? <laughs> from heaven, Richard looks down. What an asshole! Can't fucking believe he took Jerusalem. St. John is what they'll call me! I didn't need mommy to bail me out of jail, hmm? <laughs> oh, there are still deals to be made, but there is no time. It costs power to dismiss troops, unfortunately. Better to just get them killed, yeah? So, uh, let's... Turn our view combat back off. We'll save. And, uh, we'll go. I mean, I'm sure we'll be fine. Let's train up everyone. We could buy arms, but we'll do that in a bit. Let's go take 19. They keep demanding money and tribute from me. There's Grant there with his War A. I got your tribute right here! That'll teach you to not offer me an alliance. I have Mecha now, too? Ugh. That's right. This crusade is a smashing success. John wins. I might lose. I might lose, uh, Syria next turn. Doesn't matter. Oh, we're not gonna... Give me a local talent. Larton, you are responsible for Jerusalem. Sure, I'll take it. A dude. He's war C, but we'll take a dude. In the end stages of his life, uh... <laughs> John... became decadent. In his later stages of his life, I mean, you know... Started this game when started this campaign when you know he was middle aged. I think he's done well. Ain't no Magna Carta here. He ain't surrendering power to anyone. A castle made out of silk. So I didn't lose any units there in that fight. More's the pity, right? Oh, we're going to continue to have merchants as well, because we have so many provinces. It's great. We have this place, too. We're going to have permanent access to Islamic merchants, because we have this place. It's delightful. It's 
I don't have answers to your questions. I don't recall whether they were a rebellion that broke off of Agora Sultanate or whether they were Tibet. This is India. Uh, these is the, like, the Sultanate that was down here that I booted out and <laughs> have basically pursued up here. That's where that's what France used to be. This is uh, I think they're like some sort of nomadic group that started here. These are the Shogunate. And I'm pretty sure this was a rebellion. Yeah, the Roman Empire got deleted when uh, Rome got taken. They are a rebellion? Okay. So... Let's have a gander. Ideally, I'd recruit, I'd, like, replace new dude, replace, like, I'd fill empty slots as I lost dudes. But, you know, my mob of light infantry is continuing to show smashing success, and so I'd actually have to spend action just to, like, get rid of these dudes. Do I dare give my mob of light infantry to someone else? To another one of my provinces? They might betray me. You don't even have the gold to support them, and you won't make any money this next... Well, you don't, won't make any money for a few seasons yet. I can only send the provinces adjacent to me. It's a shame this actually costs power to do. Feels inefficient. Whatever. I've been fucking inefficient this entire time, right? How much more is it to, like, hire mercenaries? 1950 wouldn't deplete the population? I don't think I care about the population or the loyalty in this situation. Give me four Monlukes. No ranged option. Fuck it. I think this will be enough of a force to convince them to run at 15. I think. The training is pretty rough, uh, as are the arms. India doing more work over there in the east. I wouldn't mind an alliance, but... I don't have anyone of great charm to, like, send to, like, offer it. I don't want to spend the power on getting rejected. Fun at harvest in England? Typhoon over yonder? You know, yonder. How about we sell some silk to the Venetians? And uh, I don't want to add more army units, I want to buy arms. There we go! 100 arms. Good. Our training might be rubbish, but uh... We've got weapons. I'll give you weapons. I'll give you weapons. An elephant? <laughs> I 
Uh, good. Good. How's the kids doing these days? Still have uh, three marriageable women there waiting in the wings. And spare grants three. John is 60. He's lost two body. And uh, actual grant here. He's 13 now. Looking pretty good. It's gonna be a shame to go down to uh, what Grant's body is, despite the extra level of politics. We'll also lose a point of leadership. But the, the A War will uh, make it so that uh, Grant can mix it up in direct combat, instead of relying so much on others. There's, there's the name of Grey. The Shishia Kingdom? I don't know how to pronounce that. India. Sweeping around the mountains. Blobbing up. It's blobbing time! Hey, don't be talking to him. Loyal retainer though he may be, I still don't want you to have any conversations over there. How much does it cost me to try and offer an alliance? Seven. Means I cannot attack. I can train for all the good that does. Wink. Sell some more silk. Here comes the money. Too much. I've, I've sold too much. Alright. Four year alliance. Uh, who do I possibly have who has charm? Oh yeah, you! The new guy. You don't want to fight me, India. Okay. Alright. You asked for it! I was just gonna go up through 15 and then curve back into Europe, but okay. <laughs> I'm just gonna urinate away 808 gold pieces, because I don't give a fuck. I could be speeding up the, my attacks that I'm doing, and I'm not. Let's, uh... Buy some food? Let's just buy... Prices, I know. Let's just buy 2,000 food. Our attack is 7. I want to check to confirm that. Let's make sure 15's not any different, if I remember it. Yeah, we're good. Howdy, motherfuckers! We'll be taking everything that we can carry. You know, John the First of Arabia. Yeah, I'm good. I'ma get you. Damn, they got away with the Second Legion. Couldn't capture and deny them those troops. Oh well. It's mine. Asia Minor. Hmm. Figure it out. Arton. Go for it. Fazal? Uh, not talented enough. If he had War B, maybe a bit more body. 
Not doing it for me, though. Howdy! The Shogunate wants to talk to me? What's up? You know what, Minamoto? You got it, buddy. I can probably avoid attacking him for five years. I mean, Province 3's kind of in my way for, like, my loop. But we'll figure it out. Dealmaker, Peacebringer, John. John, the Crusader, the Hero of Jerusalem, the Liberator, the Savior. <laughs> what do we got here? Stuff. They probably won't run from me. That's, it's their mob of light infantry versus my mob of light infantry. And four Monlukes. Okay. I could train twice. I don't think so. I would certainly like to make an alliance with India. But they rejected me the last time. No, I'm not finished. Let's save out of paranoia in case I accidentally end up erasing a turn. Let's get some of this light infantry killed, yeah? It's go time. I will not form legions myself. Sure, John will take... John will take the Monlukes, yeah. Never mind that Grant has the A rating in war. I can't blame you, but still. What the hell. Fine. Take it all. Yeah, well, they actually have close to five legions here, so I do actually expect it to stay. Case in point. Uh, attacking the Balkans is kind of aggravating due to the choke point here. You can't effectively surround Legion 1. On the bright side, they can't, like, ambush you. Uh, but you also can't do, like, ambush cheesing against them. You kind of have to fight them legit. And that's a pain. Legitimate fighting, you gross. Okay, order. Five, chase. There. Go get them, tigers. My cruddy infantry versus your cruddy infantry. Let's go. Across these mountains and fucking tickle you to death. I'ma do it. My son eager to get in there and prove his worth. Now I did turn view combat back off, so we don't have to drink that in anymore. At least not for a bit, so we can speed this up. Light Infantry! Intense Hardcore Infantry Action! Alright, yeah. I dig it. Keep chasing. You're dead. The end. Hmm. 
I appreciate your enthusiasm. I want you to move back now, please. Oh! Oh, you want to run! I see! Get him, my son. With your A rating in war, shoot him to death. Alright, we lost some troops. That happens. Oh no, he's getting away! This is happening. John just watches on and off. There we go. This is a region. Ah, damn, that legion got away. Should've been able to capture that. Oh well. Shit happens. Howdy! Hey, bud! Would you like to be married in my family? Would you also like to be married in my family? Ah, uh, you can be free. I'm feeling merciful if you can go too. We get Doris. Nah, I'm good. I have marriageable women. My fleet of daughters. I mean, that's understandable. I didn't have any dudes there. That just means I'll be the twice conqueror of Jerusalem, guys. <laughs> it's all a grand scheme. You know how it is. Oh, yeah. Not gonna marry, uh, have marriages yet. Uh, we have some conquering to do. Well, how much does a marriage take for action? We could fit in a marriage. Yeah, we can fit in a marriage. He's 18. You, war rating A. Welcome aboard. Maid Marion. All right. A war is seven. Now you just attacked out, so you don't have much here. I expect you to retreat. <laughs> oh shit. No, I'm good. Y'all should run now. And also allow me to capture Legion 2, please. Damn. I'd like it to. We'll see what they do now, the stragglers there. 
Uh, I'll keep holding on to people. I don't want to deploy anyone just yet. It's not like I'm leaving like an army or like any sort of security around for them to like safeguard a region. I would like to hook up through 29, 27, and 26. Bro, no. But I gotta resolve 16 down there. I don't have to. I'll probably choose to. Just another lowborn asshole. Some minor at Walden. Alright, this seems like an appropriate time for me to take a break and use the restroom. Welcome back to Europe, everyone! <laughs> Drink the music in!
I am back. I'll stand for a bit. Stretch. Turns out I can play the game while standing. Has uh been enjoyable broadcast thus far. Being with you all revisiting this game after all these years. Embracing the life of John. <laughs> Throwing a bunch of bodies at problems. The blood-soaked fields of Iberia. Been educational. Enjoyed the involvement. Glad I can show some folks about this game. Don't know about it. Glad I can get some folks who do know about the game. Glad I could surprise uh, Def Evan there in chat. Who has been uh, nudging me to play this game. <laughs> for him for years. I see your beams. <laughs> oh, damn it, Grant. Uh, as for the chat overlay, uh, that is from a program called Fontificator. Fontificator. And I am using a Mega Man style font. That'll look pretty cool to have, like, some sort of, like, generic not-play game overlay like that with, like, a miniature view of the uh, game window. So I've done that. How about that? Corporate Grimmoth has revamped things over the years. This is all just a scheme to get you to play, like, a hundred more hours of covert action, Grant. Anywho. Let's see, when last we left off, uh, we'd just taken over Italy. I was contemplating going after Province 16 to retake Jerusalem, to take Jerusalem twice. My 13 body is a slight hindrance for the things that I want to do together. But so it goes. Alternatively, I could ignore uh, that province and just take these up here. They're likely weaker and you know less well protected and just leave that shit alone down there. But I don't want anything sweeping back in there. So let me get a sense of how bad it is. Because uh, they were able to save both legions that were defending Italy and fuse them together with this army. Um. Six horse archers, two monlukes, two knights, three catapults, which is a waste of fucking time. Uh, one heavy infantry and one pikeman. Did I ever play Super Robot War game? I don't have a visual of what that is or how that looks in my head. The answer is likely no. got plenty of gold and food. Uh, as for whether 18, 19, and 15 are safe, the answer is no. Not even a little. I'd be surprised if 15 had any troops. 19 may ha and 18 may have a couple, but that's not enough to stand against that. Now, giant robots aren't really my thing. It's more of a polar dash thing than it is a me thing. won't retreat. They will fight to the bitter end. I just have the four Monlukes, yeah? That's the, the sturdiest troop I'm packing, right? It is. It'd be. It'd be a great opportunity for me to get a bunch of my dudes killed. a visit. While I'm at it, though, let's uh, check out other places, because I have the spare power. That'd be pretty easy for me to attack and take. I 
I like the look going on there. It's pretty good. I'm, I'm enjoying the synergy you both have. It's, uh, it's more respectable. That doesn't have much fun, anyway. How are you doing over here in France, buddy? Have you actually... done anything at- no? Okay. Sticking to the same thing, huh? I know you have 14 politics, but you do have E politics, but you have 14 body man. Whatever, you're you're holding steady. You are the rock I need up here. I can lay a beat down on anyone. Speaking of beat downs, let's go get everyone killed. Everyone pile up, get in the wagon. Let's go get my army killed. I do want to form the legions myself, though. Because my son is getting the mom, Luke's. You raiding a guy. Uh, you're getting a bunch of pikes. You raiding B guy I intend to marry into the family. And, uh, you're the one. You just get some dudes. Enjoy. We have no more units. That's correct. Let's go get our infantry slaughtered. Woo! We succeed. We'll take Jerusalem back. We'll have a wedding there. We'll probably have to go retake one of the provinces we'll lose. I do wish to deploy troops myself. That... Excuse me? I was not aware. That's really fucking awkward. <laughs> I don't know what to do with this information. Hmm. Hmm. Okay. All right. Sure. Well. John is going in the corner. Because he has the worst war score. My son. Coming out here in front. And then Legion 5 will be back here. Uh, let's order... Grant and chase this legion. Yeah, run down some fucking catapults. <laughs> oh shit. Knights, huh? Legion 3, getting bullied. I think it's gonna get wiped. Yep. There goes that force. Some better rolls. There you go. I didn't give Legion 4 any orders, so the light infantry uh, goes after. Good. Good. I would never join the likes of you. There goes the light infantry there. Yep. Okay. Order. Fifth Legion, let's just move here.
I knew that uh, Grant was going to be engaged. Let's see if we can run down those horse archers. Let's uh, start sending uh, John up. Good work. That this will totally work, he says, laughing, knowing that he that unit is not gonna have time to set an ambush. Okay. A truce? No. No, you should submit to me. No, no truth. Submit, I'll beat you up. You don't want me to beat you up. I'll do it. I'll send light infantry after your ass. You'll shoot him down. This can end up working, but I'm not gonna invest a whole lot of time into it because uh, we only get like one turn per day and uh, it'll consume our time anyway. And because of the Ian charm, most likely won't be successful. All right, Legion 5. Let's have a gander at our uh, units. First off, Legion 2. My boy has kept all four Mamluks intact. I'm proud of him for that. They are elite. Light infantry here is fodder that I want to replace with all of my money with more powerful things when I set foot again in Jerusalem. And here's John with a fully intact force, but I will have to fight that battle myself. And they are slow walkie dudes. Order 5, Chase 1. It is in fact snowing in Jerusalem. Soften them up for us. They are, in fact, horse archers. Okay. I think I'm willing to take the, the potential hit of losing the Mamluks here. Oh, they got completely wiped. I thought I would have one mom book left. Well, let's do this. Are you all ready? To be the twice conqueror of Jerusalem. I'm doing this attack. Grant told me that uh, I could take this fight. That, uh, that I should attack Jerusalem. That I should retake Syria. He told me to do this. Well, this is completely fucked from the very start. Yep. You said I could do it. I was thinking about leaving him alone. You're like, you got it, buddy. I'm like, okay. Pain in the ass to move shit with this much little movement. I figured I would probably need some more, you know, powerful units. At least another stack of more powerful units, as evidenced by the fact that I made those mom loops do so much work, they're all fucking dead. But, you know, here we are. We live here now. Having to deal with uh, how I was positioned. Oh, 
Also, if the placement had not been awkward, so awkward, right? We probably would have been fine. Right side, they're not gonna move up. They're not gonna, like, force my hand here and try to engage me. I got all the time in the world to set up. Because that's the AI here. It's a design flaw. Who knows, indeed. Yep. We're here, folks. We're living the moment. John doesn't fight fair. And I still have half this month left. So... I can keep doing this. See, folks, you might say it's been laziness I've spared you from so many of these fights. It really does help the AI have a sporting chance in these situations. Because you better fucking believe I'm going to do this to them. Why wouldn't I? Honor? You think John cares about honor? We're role-playing, remember? I love how I have just enough movement to step into range, shoot, and then step the fuck back. In truth, I could have committed to just doing this and saved all four Momlukes. But that wouldn't have been fair, right? We should have to suffer the grievous losses. I don't, I don't even have enough time in this battle for me to use all of my arrows. And when the fight ends, I'm going to get these arrows back. Yeah, after all the... All the bloodshed that happened in Iberia, right? Wait, there's more! Call now! And notice, it was day 14. We have another 16... 15 days of this. I forget whether it ends exactly on day 30 or goes through day 30. I will, in fact, deploy the units myself. Thank you. You guys get to enjoy this cool groove. I do like this tune. Do 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 do. Get him, John. You know, nothing good can begin with "get him, John," right? <laughs> nothing good comes to that story. John will, with his own two hands, pick up a longbow and retake Jerusalem.
Let me show my son how it's done, he says. <laughs> he, like, looks at all of his other broken legions. And uh, then he looks at his own legion, which has taken zero casualties, and he doesn't understand how they could all be so flawed. Thankfully, God gave him the temperance. <laughs> Little scurly bastard. <laughs> you know you want to come back up here and beat me up, right, Wink? Hmm? Yeah, you know you do. No, oh, John personally slays. What's so what's so hard about killing horse archers, guys? They're stationary targets. I don't get it. He says. Now imagine doing this with more capable units. <laughs> units that had more mobility, so you could shoot more times. Imagine if I also had more units with arrows. Oh, John shoots the leader himself! He's just that good. <laughs> Where are you at now, brother? Hmm? <laughs> they are stunned into inconfidence. The Lord is on my side. And with power like this, you can really accomplish a great many feats in this game. The superior tactics. Because the AI really wants to hold this defensive position and doesn't realize it's not helping. Good, good. John gets the last shot. Beautiful. <laughs> With the last bit of ammunition. Bam. Most of the army's gone. That includes a lot of cannon fodder. What shall we do with the prisoners? You have a war of B. Would you like to join me? You have a war of A. Would you like to join me? That hurts. John is feeling magnanimous on this day and will spare your life. And yours. And yours. You are no threat. You have learned the ills of your ways. You may go. I will embody the compassion of my brother. It is what the Lord would want. <laughs> John is insufferable! <laughs> Alright. Good. 
Good. Well, we're back here in this region, so we get to recruit better troops. We have all four merchants at our disposal. Good. Good. The rate's 1.1. Think of hiring mercenaries because that'd be less of a. They'd have like their own equipment and so wouldn't need as much training as well. Because training uh, with John is a bit of a problem due to his poor war score, but uh. I do want some horse archers for sure. Mamluks. Probably equal doses of them. Get our horse archers first. I don't want to go too broke here. Actually, before I do that, let me, uh... I should probably make some bank, yeah? Like, get, like, something so I could sell it back to merchants. I do have access to all four merchants. And, uh... I do have textiles. A shit ton of textiles. And I do have glass, I guess. I guess we could sell that stuff. Yeah, sure. Give me some horse archers, please. Seven's a good number. All right, um, let me see who cares the most for what I got. I should sell glass to the Chinese, or perhaps the Igers. Let me see, uh, what the going rates are there. It's 1.1, is it just gonna be the same 1.1? No, 1.6 here, let's do that. Good. We'll go completely broke. We'll also have to buy arms for these folks as well. It's just gonna be like... We're gonna be here for a bit. I don't even have the, uh, the strength of character to organize a wedding. If only I had the body. It just takes too much effort, you understand. Yeah, 19 doesn't have any troops and I'm not surprised. When I go, I usually send the house. Uh, the AI typically sends the house, too. You have a catapult, so that wouldn't have saved Christmas, either. How you doing over here, my ally? Still advised by Hojo. Minamoto is a mere 37. Uh, three season of eight. He's not too bad. Hojo there. Three Bs and a C. 66, he's still going strong. What's your troop count here? Four Mongols, two Samurai. Four short bows, three light infantry. I'm not doing too bad here. Yeah, that's pretty good. 66 arms and 81 training. We are this color. This is who we are. It blends in a lot with 28 and 24, I know, but they're like a rebel faction that sprouted up. This is who we be. We started in England, and we have a circuit looping all around the Mediterranean. Want to spy on anyone else? Sure. What you got over here still? Okay, you got a little bit. So when I recruit this, what I'm doing here, um, I'm probably going to transport it to Italy, and then myself to Italy, and then proceed to cruise through, like, and take care of this stuff. Uh, my alliance with Minamoto will still be going. Unless that province is taken, I'll either have to wait or transfer around and then start going after India. Uh, we'll see what changes. We're in no rush. We 
we can just hang out here in Jerusalem. Damn. <laughs> Would have been beautiful if another abundant harvest in here. Okay, rate is what it is. What a statement, right? It is what it is. Not a great time to sell, but we're really gonna be doing it. Unfortunately, we can only have two merchant transactions instead of three. I don't know who values gems the most. 1.9 for the Chinese. 1.6 for the Igers. 1.8 for the Islamic merchants. And 2.0 for the Venetians. Okay, it's decent. What about textiles? It's probably not going to be as valuable. Okay. A lot of turns of printing money here. Idling away my time in John's, like, potential final years of life here. 62. He's taken, uh, he's lost two body points. Which has made things harder. I don't know whether I want to, like, accrue more money again for this turn. I don't know whether... I don't think I want to spend it all on recruiting. So I think what I'm going to do is uh, just go ahead and buy a bunch of silk, assuming I'm going to have a Venetian merchant, because I hold Italy. I do have a bunch of silk still. I could double sell. Or I could... Let's not buy that much. Let's, uh, buy this much. I want to make sure I have some cash on hand to pay troops, you know? Yeah. That's fine. Can't do anything incredibly efficient just due to the awkward body we have. So it's just taking us time to wheel and deal. Good! Good! Good, you're being naughty. I mean, you should. I've left nothing there to defend it. I just looked at it. They have less than ten dudes there, Grant. They would run if I attacked them with a, a full house. Rate is super low at a point six. That doesn't help me make money from selling this silk. But uh, this absolutely is a time. I mean. Holy fuck. Like, I was gonna buy arms, but... What, those recruiting costs for the mercenaries are 1170? That's cheaper than me flat recruiting them myself. What the fuck, dude? The mercenaries are cheaper for me to hire? <gasps> yes! <laughs> Sold! There's our 18. I had to do a little bit of mental math there to ensure I'd have enough money. Uh, we're just going to keep idling here for a bit as we rebuild our army. It's killed my momentum, but... Eh. We'll have to see how many provinces revolt away from me uh, when John dies. The change of leadership and all that from one e-charisma dude to another. 
they only have just one nomad there. There was nothing there to defend it, so I mean, it makes perfect sense that they would attack with one dude. I've done the same. Listen, I said message speed very fast. I don't want to have to keep pressing the button. I'm grabbing a drink here. Good work. Now, winter? Until the slight colored. Hmm. You're making a choice there. Boy, you have made a choice, sir. Okay. Okay, all right. You freed me up and saved me from having to just transfer shit there. I appreciate it. That rate escalated 1.2 points. Uh, who wants textiles? Of course, the, the time to buy arms has now evaporated, but I wasn't in a position to buy arms now anyway. We'll just have to wait for another opportunity. It's cool. Yeah! Yeah, hey, I don't really have the food to feed things. I also do not want to accidentally end the turn. I don't care what the fuck you got there. It's not going to be good enough to stop me. But let's have a gander anyway. Three nomads! Mm-hmm! Yeah, that's one legion! Congratulations! Again, you saved me the extra effort of having to transfer over shit. Because that would have taken me more units. Instead of just doing this all. I wanted to be back over here anyway. Thanks a bundle. Hugs and kisses. Smooshies. Howdy! I'm back! <laughs> It's King John! He's back from the Crusades! We can't capture Legion 1. It's a, it's a pity, huh, Grant? <laughs> it valuing all those other, like, War A dudes over you. Hey! What's up? Uh, you know, I might want to station someone over here. I'd end up having to get rid of one of my A, like, war dudes. You have nine body, which is kind of enough to do one thing a turn. If I had you married off, I'd feel pretty great stationing you there. I do want someone to be in that region who is perfectly loyal to me. Don't think I can marry someone who is currently assigned to be like a ruler. I think they actually have to be my ret now. So we'll just have it be a local talent for now. We'll solve it later. Sandstorm. You know it, folks. <laughs> Hmm. That one nomad there or whatever got hit by a fucking blizzard. What? No. If you'd offer me that sooner, I probably would John swivels his head. <laughs> Surrendered under threat. Okay. Can I have like a food situation here? There are many things I need to do. Uh, due to the fact that uh, the Capets got bisected there, uh, the forces in 29 will not retreat from me, which is a, a pity, right? So what I'm gonna do here is we're gonna arrange a marriage. Free! We're getting married here to Shostostri. 
It is, in fact, your destiny. Enjoy! A lot of crossbows. <laughs> Alright. So what I'm thinking here is I was going to hit 25 first, but I think instead what I'm going to do, due to the situation here, we'll see if I can leave this shit alone. I hit 29, uh, and then try to like sweep my way through, then down here, as I'm still allied with Japan. I know, right? Japan. <laughs> if that's even your real name. Thing though is that these provinces would be easier for me. This province would be easier for me to take, and then I could still sweep up, and I'll probably end up losing it anyway somewhere down the way. We'll figure it out as we go. I do like easy victories, and it might end up separating troops around here anyway. I could also start with 28, and then sort of like work my way around the blob too. Let's do that. Start our thing with 28. Send in the house. Grant still entrusted with two pikes. <laughs> oh shit, that's funny. <laughs> yeah. It's just one legion, so it's gonna escape from me. I don't feel comfortable leaving anyone as governor in the area right now. I also do have my trusted dude there in France. So if someone rebels or rebels around here, he can probably take care of the situation. What's up? Will we just lose the game? I'm good. I appreciate the offer though, it's very considerate of you. Okay, so here's an opportunity for me to buy food, but I don't need it because I picked up a bunch of food. Good. Um, what's your strength at? That's not good enough to take province twenty nine. Ugh. Would I want to marry my last daughter off to the other, just merely B-rated dude I have? B-rated in war. Yeah, I guess. He's got 15 bodies, he's shitty at politics, but I could trust him to, like, monitor a region and punish any rebellions that pop up. At this point, I could, like, cast off the C-rated dudes I have. The C-rated and war dudes. But, they're still long for the ride. For now. I've been told I can't trust them to varying degrees. By the by, how's, uh, Spare Grant doing? That's not what I meant to select. He's six. All right. Let's celebrate with a... Well... Yeah, like I said, 32 can't take over 29. I gotta resolve that myself. I guess that's fine. So yeah, let's just go ahead and celebrate with a wedding. Instead of giving a command. Go for it. He's just as charming as me. 
She looks as amused as her father. Good. There we go. We've had six kids as John. Four daughters and two sons. That's a uh, caveat of just spending all that time idling instead of actively conquering. Which is what we've been doing now for a while. Uh, yeah. Let's double check. Do I really want this action? Yeah, I'm getting this action. Maybe I can transfer Reliable Dude and his shit over to... Yeah, fuck it. Let's go! 18 units. If we capture some folks, that would be cool. You know? We won't get an opportunity to capture in this fight because they're not going to retreat because they can't retreat. Okay, let's have a look at this battle map. They station themselves there. That's going to be a pretty nice place for me to attack from. Because uh, I'm not under risk of being ambushed. That's pretty swell. Uh, I'm going to stick John... Here. Two, three, four. And then I think my solitary order is going to be the Grant in Legion 5. Eventually make your way over here. But just two pikes, you're not going to be seeing any combat action, my son. We are super in faces. It's beautiful. Order. Uh, fourth to just chase after the third one here. Get it out of the way. <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs> Fucking deleted. <laughs> that wasn't even the one I gave the order to. Just fucking deleted. Oh, it's nice to have some quality troops here in mass. It's a beautiful thing. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Happy days are here for everyone. Especially me. Hmm. Okay. Uh, just have Legion 3 move here. Uh, I guess I did tell you to attack? Well, I guess I'm losing something then. I thought I told Legion 4 to be the one to go after Legion 1. But sure, whatever, we'll just lose more troops, why not? Sure. How about you not get any more of my dudes killed? Thank you. All those losses could have been fully prevented. Oh well. No overzealous bastard. I want the glory! It's what John would do! <laughs> Howdy! Hey, B Raiden, dude, you want to join me? You can never serve me, fine. Just go free. Politics, hey, dude, go free. Sure. Enjoy your freedom, Weston, leader of the former empire known as France. Uh. 
Go for it. We'll give you a spot. My dude with the charm. Hey, don't be intimidating other people to surrender to you for freezies. I think I'm gonna hire three Nomad Mercenaries. I guess I could do the full house. I don't know whether I want to spend that much money. He said, flush with cash. My poor training score. We'll train whenever, uh, whenever John dies and the war A dude takes power. Yeah, let's just pick up three. Hey, wait, don't blow all the cash. Let's have a gander at this state before I go to beat it up. Yeah, we're good. They're gonna retreat from me. There we go. Back up to 18. Grand still is back with the two pikes. <laughs> and now we have some wiggle room. We end up capturing one of their legions. Oh. Alright, good bits. Are they not running? No, surely they're running. Surely they would not be so foolish as to as to not flee, right? No, they're actually they're fucking staying. Okay, you definitely had room to run away. All right, goodbye, <laughs> bye bye. Am I gonna lose that, Mom Luke? Time for you to pull back. Come back here. To say, like, I have no fucking clue what you guys are doing. <laughs> like, how are you still on this battlefield? Thank you for leaving that settle, but... Oh! 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 We captured all of them! We only have room for two dudes! Well... A damn shame, huh? What a pity. Howdy! Ah, uh, I got enough war B dudes. Day are up now for me. My mercy will prove fatal someday. Go for it. I'm a nice guy. Go for it, Lesdor. You can have Germany. It's yours. Has he now? Has he now? Tell me more. <laughs> That's understandable. Perfectly understandable. I completely get it.
Yeah. What units did we win in the capturing of those three legions? Hmm? Okay. 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 That's fine. Some longbows. Order. Attack. I'm sure. Order. No. <laughs> War. Not even gonna bother scouting. We don't need the intel. We're commanding. We don't need to form. Let's go. Hey, great. You got two longbows now. John, Uniter of Europe. They have to fight. Okay, let's order my son. Over yonder. You guys are certainly taking an approach to piss me off. I, I will give you credit. Only being able to issue one order per day is uh, certainly limiting. Will we avoid triggering the ambush? Or will some overzealous bastard move into an incorrect position? Pike's doing good work there against the Mamluks. him out of the ambush position that he was in. It's actually holding up pretty well. Okay. Uh, I can only issue one order. And it's going to be to tell you to back up. you end up going after Legion 2. I would have loved to sick the other, like, fully intact Legion, the situation, but so it goes. Uh, good. Order. Four. Chase. One. Knights, huh? Fine. Knights. Order. Or Heal it back. Order. One. Knights, you say? <laughs> oh. Cavalry. So, knights, as we well know, have no ranged capability. And they're not going to leave those walls. 
Sounds like a Zim problem, hmm? burn through our arrows quicker. Alas. I have not quite replenished the arms after the heavy recruiting I've done. And I don't have to do a whole bunch of, like, movement finagling. So, you know. Yeah, they're not even, like, really trained either. We haven't had the time to really train all the new recruits. It's a problem. Awkward. I mean, I could get in there and fight him in melee. But I have so much time left in the fight for this province. Why would I? Fairness? No. certainly scarier defensive positions to see. Uh, this one's pretty wide open, though. It's kind of a problem for them. said, I might get a piece of them. Then I'll get fucking stun locked in there, lose horse archers, gnash my teeth. I have John leading a unit, he'll fucking, like, die. <laughs> I know, right? It's so adorable. This isn't the one John's leading. Let's get him. On guard! Smack him with a bow. With J Confused. Yeah, they're the AI actually cleverly using uh, their charge capabilities. It is, well, after all, what knights excel at. And I mean, they are horse archers, yeah.
Now time for these dudes unsoftened by my arrows. But uh, softened by the attacks of others. Feels good to be good. It's good to be good. Oh, no! Confusion! Ah. I don't know how long we'll be going. You enjoy your foods. Come on in, John. Hmm, a terrible whistle. Step on in, John. John doesn't charge. There's no need to rush. One. There we go. Finish all these nights. Beautiful. Ta-da! That takes care of the Capet Dynasty. I have nothing to say to you. I have nothing to say to all of you either. I am incredibly merciful. Your luck is, in fact, exhausted. Go free. Who'll be governor of Poland? Whoever. Von Appleden? Four C's, six body, 65 years old. Pass. Howdy, motherfucker. Yes, life's cruel fate. You stupid fucking 16-year-old. <laughs> Get out there and mow my lawn with your blood. Hmm. Wouldn't be a bad advisor or like a charming person to have on, ret on the retina, but no. Nah. Now our valued retainer that we can trust is in Italy. And wholesale, wholesale is in France. Also Count the Shogunate pre stops itself from being bisected again. Good for them. Good job. Punishment. Retaliation. Sandstorm. Hmm. A pity for them. It's my turn. Oh, boy.
Bear Grant, seven years old. John is 64. He's only lost a two body. He's still going strong. Got a nice assortment of troops. Not the best. Not the worst, by far. They're actually on the right side of the board. Almost all of them, anyway. Still no advisor, but my fucking chin. Hell yeah. We got cash. We got tons of food. Uh... What's your def... What's your, uh... Yeah, that's what I thought. <laughs> that's what I expected. Have you assembled anything yet over here? Kinda. A catapult and a horse archer. One dream. One unit of dream. I admire your dedication. Uh, this isn't enough money. God, my my army. <laughs> so poor. <laughs> I was thinking about wheeling and dealing a bit with the merchants, but I tell you what, we up it from 34 to 35? Yeah! Well, let's go beat the shit out of some dudes. Keep rolling, 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 rolling. Invading Russia after a blizzard. I absolutely did expect them to retreat. I'm glad they are doing so. I hope to capture Legion 2 so that it cannot fully join the reinforcements down there where they're retreating to. Indeed. Yeah, that one. And only being able to transfer yourself, like, one province at a time over the seasons. It's like a slow moving of things. Especially as rebellions may end up erupting across the world. Frankly, I'm surprised my empire has held it together this well. Given the E uh, in charm. We've had a few revolts, of course. Not talented enough. Uh oh. <laughs> what are we looking at now? Eleven body? <laughs> I might have to consider getting John killed. Just uh, sending him out alone to get get his fucking teeth kicked in. No! <laughs> Lost four body. <laughs> so that's a random thing that can like escalate as a uh, ruler gets older. Um, so I could, like, reload and, uh, do this whole attack on 24 again, and it might not happen, or we're not doing that, of course. Nine body, huh? Oof! Oof. Uh, we can do everything in policy. Um, we can't force the people to give us stuff. So we can do most of domestic. And, uh, we could do everything else on the board but uh we can only we can only have one merchant transaction now a turn we can't wheel and deal we can wheel or we can deal that's it it's a, it's a big limiting factor no wheeling and dealing just wheel or deal uh It happens, man. It happens. We're still allied. Dude, those dudes. So I go ahead and take care of this rebel faction that was up here playing around. I will come. I will. I will. I will. We've come a long way. Over the past damn near six hours.
Europe and North Africa are ours. This is their last stand. I don't think it matters. Let's move Legion 1 up here in case I need to engage in some conflict resolution. Beyond that, everyone can go for the glory in your own special way. As a matter of fact, John is going to stand on top of this fucking mountain. Everyone else go play. Oh, catapults. Oh boy. Decent beating on that legion, I admit. Come hang out again in town, as John stands on top of the fucking mountain. Alright, sure. Whatever. Take your own path, folks. I'm not even gonna bother commanding them. They'll figure it out. Nomads versus pikemen. Okay. Ooh. Okay. Yeah, I mean, that makes sense. I didn't command Legion 4 to do anything, so it was going to be line after the leader. Which is kind of awkward, because uh, then Legion 2 is going to poke at Legion 4, and I'm definitely going to lose those nomads. Grant is offered to join this uh, shitty, stupid faction. He declines. He knows his father's on the way out. Lost a nomad. Why are you making things so complicated, Legion 3? Fight for my amusement as I stand upon the mountain and observe Constantinople. Bleed. Bleed for me. Yes. Bleed for my children. Wait, what? <laughs> I'll take care of him. Hey, buds. What's up? I see you got a nomad in there. You got some ranged firepower. I think it'll be fine. Get him. Hmm. Resilient. Three arrows. Oh well. So nice, huh? Be 
hold the power of my poorly trained army. I would certainly be performing much better in combat if I had better training, but we've we've talked about why that can't happen. We can only go through this gate one at a time, huh? Boy, that's pretty fucking awkward. That is a very, very secure defensive location. range to finish off this cruddy unit. You want to step up here? Say hi to me? No? You good? Okay. Thought I'd offer you, no? Your funeral. <laughs> Sorry, I'm using myself here. Coming in! Big boat. Good. I am the biggest of Johns. Thou shalt have no Johns bigger than I. That's what that means there. <laughs> ah, I said I had enough B dudes. B and Charm as well, though. It's pretty neat. Get out of my face. Go away. Fuck you, you can die. I think given sort of like the position here, and this will eventually erupt into a front, I am going to deposit uh, one of the valued retainers up here. Uh, he'll have time to hopefully build up something. Hopefully. I will miss his presence, but he's got 15 body. He's going to be around for a while. He's a loyal retainer, so he won't rebel. Hopefully he'll manage to build up something. Hey, India. How you doing over there, buds? Big John's coming for you. Let's just check to confirm that this state that just capitulated to India doesn't have much of anything in it. Go. No. It has a dude. Singular dude. Morning.
I heard. Appreciate the info all the same. For folks who have two-factor authentication set up, probably don't have to immediately change the password, but you might want to consider doing it at some point. Something you don't already, like, regularly rotate and change your passwords. Do you see this man? Do you see me rejecting this man? Man's been rejected. Mm -hmm. Unfortunately, I can no longer have a nice, pleasant exchange at the marketplace and also fight someone on the same turn. It's a limiting factor. John's uh, body falling apart before our eyes. Hey, buds! What you got there? Mm -hmm. I'm a deck in the schnoz. Maybe I'll successfully capture the elephant. I'll probably spend next turn selling stuff to get money back. Nah, I'm good. It's snowing. <laughs> it's snowing. Hmm. Christmas miracle. I don't care. Go work, Garden. It's yours now. More C's with six body. Shogunate has certainly so, like solidified and stabilized over there. They haven't collapsed uh, like all the bisecting and trisecting. Uh, nor are they collapsed re rebellions or like internal revolts. I would say that is uh, worthy of some concern, for they do have access to recruiting both Mongols and Samurai. Which are powerful troops. Yeah, like I said, I gotta spend this turn, uh, bankrolling myself. But I continue to put on the pressure. My fucking decrepit body. I think Spare Grant's eight at this point? Yeah, he's eight. He's the last of the six children in the, in the household of the Wings. No, I'm not finished. All right, let's sell. Who do we want to sell to? What do we have? We got jewelry. We got glass. We got textiles. I'm going to sell the jewelry to the Islamic merchant. Yep, it's the most I can accomplish on this turn, due to the six body I've lost, due to advancing age. I don't have a whole lot of wiggle room to command. Tell me about my alliance. Well, my list of territories, sure. One more year. 
I don't know whether my uh, loyal retainer up here is going to have enough time to set up something. I might want to recall him. For as much as I trust him, I don't want to lose him. Is uh, that he is the boss there. That's Minamoto himself up there. I'll give it some thought. How are we looking here? Bunch of trash, they're gonna run. How are we looking over here? <laughs> More garbage. Hot flaming light infantry garbage. I, I know that life. I've lived that life. Three nomads. Cool. I don't want to recall my loyal retainer that I have stationed there, because that will basically consume my entire fucking turn. Guess if he goes down, he goes down, huh? I did not put him in control of a great area, and I didn't give it leave him any resources. Nor will I order anyone to send them to him, because, you know, it takes my entire turn. A rebellion there. Rebellions usually do not succeed. They are really weak. Now the instant like revolting and declaring independence. We gotta keep moving. Keep rolling, rolling, rolling out my back. <laughs> From Persia to Arabia, we've come far from having a mere province. England. They're gonna stay, huh? Huh. Okay. Well, sure. I will permit you to do this. All right. Order. Second. Sun there in the mountains so that he would be lagging behind. Order. Fourth. Move. Here. Order. The first. The move. Capture this. Come here. Light infantry. Mm -hmm. Gotta tell my son to capture here. After all, they might choose to flee after losing that legion.
See if I can provoke that other legion out of ambush. No, they're fucking booking it. Fail! Well. Wow. They all got to successfully retreat. Okay. Sure. It happens sometimes. Remember that time in Iberia where someone was retreating, bumbled their way into an ambush, broke out of the confusion, and utterly skull-fucked that legion? Those were good times. Um, It'd be cool to have, like, a retainer I could trust around here. I did mention leaving someone in Jerusalem I could. But I do also have someone I can trust, uh, kind of like in Italy, who's overseeing that region, and they can also, like, reach down there if need be. Just go ahead and pass on him. Oh, get to it, Ralson. Yeah, it's got a couple more seasons left. I checked uh, last turn of the two turn before, and it had one more year left on the Alliance. He's blobbed up there pretty well. I've been considering, like, getting John killed, but... I don't know, it's just... My heart's not in it, I guess. I think I'll let him die naturally of old age, or, you know, if I actually fuck up. Despite the fact that I can't, I can only do one thing a turn, really. Train coming, woo! Let's have a peek here. I'm not exactly sure where those units ended up retreating to. So I want to take a look at 8 and 21 here. This was just full of a bunch of light infantry. I think they ended up getting nomads and Mamluks from that. That's still full of the three nomads. Okay. So, if I attack 8, they can retreat to 21. If I attack 21, 8's left out on its own, but 8 has such a powerful force, I could hope that they head, like, snowball, like, in this direction, instead of attacking 20. And I think that's what I'm going to do. I want to leave that force up here to give uh, the Shogun it something to play with. <laughs> yes, the legendary train. It's a residential neighborhood, asshole. Uh, 640 in the morning, come on. All right. I could spend a turn just... Buying stuff, I guess. Or selling stuff. What we got to sell these days? Glass. And textiles. Our arms could definitely be better, but keep in mind, I can't sell stuff and buy arms on the same turn. It has to be during two separate turns. Right, our rate's pretty rough for selling, too. Screw it, just attack 21 and... Leave 8 stranded out there, I guess. It kinda... Inhibits me from going further in. But I would like for it to be the Shogunate's problem. That'd be cool. <laughs> I think we're gonna bank on that maybe being the Shogunate's problem. Not even remotely the greatest co-op partner I could ask for. Nor would I call the train consistent. But it's there. Somehow. After all these years. Hey. Actually retreating towards eight. Unexpected. This isn't going to be a wipe, but it's definitely going to reduce the amount of uh, nomads that escape from me. 
I actually gonna lose a mom, Luke? Close. Great neighbor. Woo! Alright, so eight gets even stronger now with an extra two nomads tossed up there. Get to it, Arden. 4B, huh? Uh, I'm kind of looking for A war dudes or bust. Maybe if you brought, like, charm to the table or something. Just say no. I got enough B dudes. Mm hmm. They're like, we'll cut off King John! Alright. Sure. Looks like I gotta go kill that motherfucker. We can briefly soak in this music. And if we had the power, we could recruit an elephant. But I go to war, you know. You know how it is, folks. Out of curiosity, did they send just a token force? Or the house? A token force. It's not a surprise. After all, I left nothing there. I guess I should have dealt with eight. I don't have the body to be... To be wasting my time like this. Damn it! D-pad, respond to me. <laughs> Twenty was, in fact, empty. Well, I did just leave twenty. So it had no gold, no food, no units. choose you. I do not choose you. <sighs> How dare the AI be active. Curse them for retaking the, this territory. And uh, stun locking me in a way. Our alliance has, in fact, expired. I'm too old. Mm. Mm. If our bodies drop so low that I can't even attack someone, that's a problem. Hope it's gonna be at least seven. Good. 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 So, uh, <laughs> great. I don't expect any troops to be waiting for me at 15, but let's double check. Where the fuck did you get three knights and a light infantry from? Alright, I guess I have to treat this more seriously. Okay, I was just gonna send a token for us, so I'm glad I checked. Let's go murder the bastard. Gonna have to kill him. I'm gonna have to leave Persia behind, and India can retake it if they so desire. I gotta go punish a rebel. 
And then I might have to swat Minamoto up there in three. Naturally, this dude's not gonna retreat because he can't. Uh, no, I'm good. Go get him, kids. Beat up his knights. John will even go after him, too. Who gets there first? Knights are holding their own pretty well, but I freely admit that uh, that force is probably better trained than mine. Despite it being a shitty force, there's not that many dudes in it, so it's pretty easy to train up. I don't really have the action economy anymore to spare on training. It's not like John was good at it anyway. Anywho. This dude's fucking dead. Hi, Arden. Yeah, gee. I actually have more body than you. Good work. No. Revolt? I hope the, uh, the Revolter is, uh, high quality. Come back and try again, tell you what. Rate is down to 0.5, by the way. Which, uh, means I freely admit it's, uh, gonna be time to purchase stuff. Even though I don't have the huge gold surplus on hand. Go ahead and fill it full on arms. Loyalty here is at a meager 40. Not too worried about it. Don't know whether I'm gonna go from here. Might, uh, again, I might go punch the Shogunate. Or, you know, since I don't have to worry about moving myself anymore, go take Persia again. However, I can't move this turn. I have to sell. As for what I sell... Uh, and to who, especially at this terrible rate that's happening right now, it's gross. I have enough money to pay for the troops. They just send a dude? Alright, so now I have to go any further with that dude. Cool. Until they get another dude there. Alright, great! Good work! You've actually built up some units. You're not a lame duck. I appreciate it. Shogun, if you wanted to offer me another alliance, I'd accept. Oh, no. <laughs> well. It was for the best. Who, in fact, will succeed John the First? I mean... Uh, Spare Grant didn't even come of age. Uh, so I didn't get the opportunity to make him a general. I think he still stays in the pool? So that I can make him a general, but I'm not sure. He might just be gone now to the sands of time. No spare grant. 